high definition. I don't want that. I want. Real. Okay. Let's see if this one works. There we go. We now have audio. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, I'm using my other microphone right now for some re uh, recording, doing some piano stuff. So thank you for letting me know. I think we're up now. And uh, let's make sure by going back to this screen here and pulling this back up to live stream. And one day volume is not on. Yep. Thank you both for letting me know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. Uh-huh. Let's see if it's on now. I think you will be hearing me now. And uh, make sure. Just give me a thumbs up, whoever. Uh, thank you, Day Day. I appreciate it. Thank you, W. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, thank you uh, for all being here. And hopefully this is, is going to be good and we got volume. I can put my headphones on and check it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. That's what I thought. Very cool. Red Squirrel. I hear you now. Yay, Red Squirrel. Hey, speaking of that, Red Squirrel, you should shoot my last video on uh, TikTok I just put up. Some reason this morning I was really up very early and outside and I was watching and the squirrels were just making all types of chatter and alarm and going on. I decided to record it and uh, I got out there and of course just me moving out to closer to get into range where I could pick them up well kind of spooked them to quietness. But one of them comes <laughs> romping across the yard and jumps up on the tree and was just scattering, chattering away at me. It was kind of funny. And I, and I, I just listened to them making these interesting noises along with the normal norm sounds that I hear uh, when they get upset. He was also making some other very interesting tones that I had never heard a squirrel make even. And uh, I thought, wow, what is going on in the squirrel world? So I put up a little video on it, <laughs> whatever, because that's what I like to do, show people interesting, cool things like that. And that is on my TikTok channel. And uh, share that with you in case you're here and have made some money uh, off of the stocks that we're picking out. And we've got some runners here, folks. We're going to pull up some here of recent that have been brought to our attention by Spartacus. And he's been done very well with some of his picks. And so I'm starting to follow some of these that he's been picking out. And we're going to take a look at some of them as we speak here, besides just SoFi. Uh, but right now, look at there. There it is. I told you I thought we might see 866. Good morning, Cookies Code. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for being sh showing up. Like I said, I know there's a lot of places you folks could uh, be uh, other than here. But when the when the bottom is is right out of the gate, like I called, this is going to be it, folks. This is the challenge to get to a bottom that <laughs> they've got a long ways to go to get to the historical data. Yesterday's bottom of 836. That's going to be a n tough nut to crack, <laughs> and it's my opinion. But we never know what can happen. But look at the Dow futures this morning, the NASDAQ futures. They were up, Dow futures up 165, NASDAQ up 625. I'm showing this here because once I refresh this page, that's going to go away. But those are the futures, just so you know. And So the market has some good predecessor uh, feelings about it. And, of course, we see now the Dow is up, in fact, 165, NASDAQ up. And there we are, catfish. First bottom achieved at what price? 868, folks. If that holds, that's going to be awesome. That's going to be an awesome day for us if that holds at the bottom because, folks, that is a big time gain uh, from 836, right? A 32 cent gain. If that, and, and this is this is kind of what I had been predicting, right? Am I not? Say this, and by the way, today that means they are going to try to fight this high with all the, the gumption they have, okay? Because they are not going to achieve a lower low, in my opinion. Now, we could see a double dagger here, and it's not over. I'm not telling you to dive in here yet, but and I never tell you to dive in, <laughs> right? Many have here. Sean Shaw, Gary, others have gone in heavy, and uh, Jay Reezy, uh, and uh, there's others that have gone in heavy. But now it turns out as though that was a very good decision on their part because we're going back on up over 888 here soon. And we're going to go over 9 and we're going to go over 10 and an 11 and 12. And we're going to go to these target prices people have spoke about because that's the nature of this stock. Swinging big time, 30%. Thank you for being here. Yes. 
everyone, I want to thank you all for the volume notification because I actually unplugged my microphone using it in another uh, another um, venue, if you will. And that is just while I'm trying to learn how to play the piano for the amusement of all my t TikTok folks. And I have a challenge every day on TikTok, uh, name that tune. And I'm actually such a poor player at this stage of the game that many of my songs cannot be identified. Plus, I play a lot of old stuff from out of like classic old movies and things. People don't know these tunes. <laughs> but uh, they do request songs, and I've got a request now. I've got to try to figure out how to play and uh, give it some listens. Uh, David Gray, I think is the name of the artist. And uh, so anyway... I'm going to have to try to figure out that one. It's about 10 years ago that song came out. I looked on YouTube. But anyway, here's what I want to show you. I talked to you a little bit about this bull market is coming article. And it's very good proving that Motley Fool is behind SoFi. There's no question about it. If you go back here and look at this, uh, they start showing you that we're, uh, we're in a very different market now. Investors are pricing stocks more in line. Then uh, it says more about valuations. SoFi posts rapid sales growth rates, but it hasn't been profitable. Well, this is where they start talking about changes. SoFi continues to so demonstrate robust sales growth and launches new products. In the, in the 2023 second quarter, revenue increased 37% over the last year to $498 million, and the company added 584,000 customers to its platform. That's an excellent indication of its sales generation potential, especially because it has pivoted from a student loan organization to offer many products. And its new focus is getting existing customers to buy new and more expensive products and services. It added nearly 900,000 new products to the platform in the second quarter, a 43% year-over-year increase, folks. All right? <laughs> All right, so thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it because these are the things I want to show you that if you haven't read these yet, but I'm bringing them up to you. And they show how the increases in members, the increases in products. This is just it says what's compelling right now is that management said it would reach net profitability by the end of 2023. That's coming up pretty soon, folks. Yep, sure is. So if I has branched into several categories, such as investing in credit cards, and it acquired a bank last year to get a banking charter. This allows it to offer checking and savings accounts and bonds. All of these activities have served to create a diversified business. And all the all-in-one, all digital financial services app appeals to its younger customer base. Because SoFi is still known for its student loans, it's drawers, it draws a younger crowd. But since it offers so much more now, it's recruiting those younger co consumers for more services and making more money off of them. Student loans were an, actually a small piece of the whole in the second quarter. So there it is. I'll repeat that. Student loans were actually a small piece of the whole in the second quarter. Right? But they're going to help us, folks, to get to that profitability in the fourth quarter. You bet they will. It, it, it is a player. It makes a difference. Don't go wrong and don't think it doesn't. And uh, so anyway, and that's part of the reason that we've seen so many interested institutions. Now, let's go over here and let's go take a look now at our bookmarks page. And we're going to see uh, what is going on. I'm going to go. Whoop, I made that the wrong way. Go over here. Bookmarks. Here we are. And we want to look at these institutional ownerships and look at how many might have added more or are they are they declining let's see let's find out right now still a 697 here same no change still 643 long 22 short 32 long and short all right but i'm keeping an eye on these people you should too all right let's get back over here now we've got some others we've seen the bottom now this will be a double double bottom <laughs> you guys heard me yesterday balking backwards a bit of it. Yep. Let's see here. We and by the way, let's take a look. So the volume is about where it has been average. The the the, the volume is about where it has been average. And this is a local caller that's trying to entice me to pick up the phone. And they usually just click and hang up. They just hang up. I try to get them, but they don't. They, they don't let me do it anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. But look at this, man. Holding up still here, well, very well over 870. And why? Who would complain about that? Comparing 
considering everybody's concern when it dropped below eight and people saying it was going to six and 650. No, not me. I never said that, did I? No, sir. Uh, let's see here. Let me see what I'm looking like here. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I'm not using really any kind of a uh, screen anymore. I'm just kind of opening things up here in the background for the room. I'm going to put this down here. And we got to be able to see what people are saying here, the viewers that we have and the ones that stick around and listen to what I've got to talk about, including this article that was written by Mark Motley Fool. Most of you might have already read this. but So anyway, it says, don't miss a second chance at a potentially lucrative opportunity. Bot bottom line is that these people here, uh, it says, if you would have invested a thousand a year ago, you wouldn't have gained the full 80% of recent because it says SoFi stock has come down a bit over the past few weeks. But it's up more than 80% this year, folks. And by the way, it's, that's basically up since I started the videos here on YouTube about it. So that's how much <laughs> it's up. At this price, it trades at a price to sales ratio of just over four, which is a bargain for a high growth stock that's about to post net profit. That's what they say right out there. They just come right out and say it, folks. So you can either not, oh, and look at this. We just popped it back up into the Greenville and we're going to be green, by the way. We're going to be green. And that is very, very encouraging to see that. Look at this, folks. Yesterday's low, 836. All right. And we've already demolished the, the high today as well, folks. How do you like that? Cha-ching, right? I'm ringing the bell because it is true. This is exactly as we had thought it would do. And it's no surprise to me whatsoever. And so I just want to thank you all for being here. Now, let's look at some other stocks, all right? Some of these that have been lately, some that we've had, uh, someone who's actually from Portugal, his name, uh, is, uh, Orla his name is Orlando. And uh, anyway, we're going to go over here. We're going to look up some of these ones that he's called out here lately, including TSLY, because you're here to make money, right, folks? We don't always have to talk about this one uh, TSLY. Yep. Yep. Still gaining. And folks, a lot of these that he picks out now it just got taken into the red and it might be a good time to buy some of it actually. But these are, uh, these all pay dividends. Most of the ones that he picks out here. So, and I need to write a little letter beside each one as to which one a D by the ones that do and, and, and not by the others. So let's look at, uh, IIPR and folks, these are all, they're, they're not going to be big, big movers, and some of them are quite expensive, uh, by the way. <laughs> but they are and have been, look at this, see, another good day on this one. So a good call he's made on this one too, folks. So start, start checking out uh, maybe some of these, and maybe if you can afford to get in on some of these, uh, pick some up because he's, he's definitely on a roll here. Picking some winners right now, and it's at the high now, so time to get out on it now. But anyway, and he probably is as we watch, knowing him because I know he takes profits when he makes them. He made some on DNA, and speaking of DNA, let's go and look at what DNA is doing right now. This is one that my fr friend Double K picked out. All right, DNA, here it is, Gingo, Gingo. Oh yeah, they're still sliding upwards. No problem. And I know that uh, our friend uh, got in on that. The one I'm talking about now, Spartacus, he got in on that and made some good money on that one too. Got out already, but still it's starting to, it looks like it's hit bottom today, even going right on up. And uh, let's look at some others. Uh, GES. Okay. So these are places you can pick up some, you can pick up some good. Uh, and this is it. This is it. Guess. Yep. GES. A uh, slight pullback, but all of them are in a drop mode at this morning time. This is what time they do that. We just saw that with SoFi too, but look where, where it is now. Day Day, you trade options? I'm new to investing, and it's a bit more complex. Yes. Uh, no, I do not, but uh, I do have friends that do trade options and uh, have done very, very good at it. They've told me I need to get on board because I'm missing some good gains I could be making, but, it, I, you know. Uh, I, I, I've been on this horse that I'm riding to success 
uh, and I like uh, to stay on a horse that's successful, but I might dabble into it. I might get into it. I know it takes, it requires, I think by some of your uh, company uh, that are some of these places like Ameritrade or whatever, Charles Schwab might, might require you to fill out some special paperwork or something uh, to get approved for that type of trading, but I don't know. Uh, but my friend, my friend Steve could certainly uh, answer that question. Uh, many many questions for you but unfortunately i'm not an, uh in on that part of the game uh but um anyway i appreciate you asking let's take another look here at another one uh g-e-s-s-o-u-n this one looked very good to me yesterday this one looked good when he pointed this one out okay and you can see half a percent down at this time of day is good you might say, oh, yeah. All right. Breaking on through to the other side. I told you once we went over 870, folks, we'd see nine soon after. I already, I already told you that would happen because they're going to start really getting on out of here. And once it runs towards nine and the faster it goes to 10 when it breaks above nine, <sighs> because there are a lot of bears still trapped. And this isn't looking good for them seeing these dailies. But this, again, is of no surprise because at this stage of the game, they're riding the SoFi wave up and down. I've already pointed out to you many, many times. And I finally did the math and ran it all the way out uh, on my um, configuration. And folks, here's, <laughs> this is this is one interesting piece of paper here that I'm showing you right here. <laughs> Very interesting piece of paper. And I've said this before, but for anybody that's new, had you bought just 100 shares on October 31st and you had that 100 shares at 5.44 a share, $544, and you had, from that buy-in, sold at every high, shorted at every high, bought at every low, again, and went long on the low, to the next high, and then gone again and sold your profit there and went short to the next low and repeat that over and over for the last 10 months, you would have gone from $544 to, to as of last night's close, $22,429 on 100 shares, people. That's just on 100. You could now nobody's going to hit the high every time and the low every time, but I just did the conjecture. If you did happen to be smart enough and have that crystal ball in your hand on five hundred forty-four dollars in ten months, you'd be up to twenty-two thousand four hundred twenty-nine dollars. Oh my gosh, isn't that insane, people? And I want you to know that I was very careful about these numbers and I went over and checked them even. You can see at one point I had to I had to change right here, scribble out because I actually made a little mistake. I checked because I want to make sure when I give you accurate, I give you information, folks, that is accurate information as we break over 880 right now at this time of day. <laughs> By the way, you might want to pick up some shares here. Let's help, let's help it go up. How about that? Right, we've helped it go up when it was at 444, 466, 488, 513. Let's help it move right on up the ladder, I say. That's what I say. And we have a good, excellent connection. Shaneza, hey, you are here early. Yes, that's right. Oh, I had to be because I was telling everybody from the very beginning before the opening bell, I had to come up because I thought we'd see a very quick drop and it would be over just like in an instant. And it was. <laughs> Why? Am I right? So I call, I'm here because I'm supposed to catch the bottom. So I was trying to tell everybody, get on in here. The bottom. And by the way, this is the price where it was in the pre-market already, 882. And now we're going beyond that. So congratulations, cha-ching. Starting to get that money back up and build that account back up real quick. It's all going to come back. All and plus, you're going to make money. You're going to make money, right? And especially if you're getting in on some of these that I'm picking out now. 
I was just going over a list of the stocks that we got. Spartacus, one of our followers here, he's giving us some pretty good stocks. So I'm just checking into those and seeing where they're at, along with watching our stock go green and get greener and greener and greener. And this is going to be another 20% gain from still where we are here now is my call. If, if history repeats itself on these highs to lows to highs to lows to highs to lows, right? So just give me a second here whilst I do what I do, do my thing. I got to make a little money here. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it. Yes, indeed, I am here. All right, and thank you, Day Day, for uh, asking about that. But I'm fortunately on options, No, There might be some others here, and I know there are, that they do, and they're very, very good at it, and they will give you some help here. Uh, if they come aboard, I'll, I'll tell them to come back and check you out. Uh, what you and maybe you can ask questions of them here on this uh, on this uh, forum. Uh, and as we watch so, uh, SoFi just continue to go right on up, I told you it would be quickly up to nine after it broke 870. That was my feeling, and I'm very glad to see that uh, it looks like I'm right. Um, and there's not a lot of resistance to this move up ab above because. Quite frankly, there aren't a lot of people that still own shares for more than this other than institutions because people that bought in the 1170s were spooked out and scared. Their hands shared and they threw out threw out their cards. They threw away. They folded. They folded. And, and many of them have folded uh, at higher prices than this, believe me. So those have been folded all out, right? And then as it starts to make its way back up, well, who's there to sell them? Because the ones that were spooked out have already sold, that were scared out. And now as it starts to ascend, who's there to sell them other than fake shares? It's my question. All right, let's get on here. Let's get connected. Yep, we are. And we're going to now see how we're sitting and maybe do some buying, right? That's right, folks. Yes, indeed. And thank you for being here with me. I know there's many other places you can be, but... Yep, I had to come up early today because the I thought we were going to see exactly what we saw. A quick, short drop, and then off with the pop. The cork comes off the top, and there we go, folks, running right on up here. Unknown again. Boy, they're coming in in droves. Yay, now they're calling me from Adrian, Michigan. Fowlerville, Adrian, all over around me. Uh-huh. There's local numbers. All right. But uh, yeah, let's get some let's get some more here, uh, and we're gonna wait. Actually, yeah, I would be uh, this would not be catfish bottom, but I'm gonna wait and see because I think we you know we really might have something establishing here that would be worth getting behind. So I'm not saying to dive in by any means. You know, I'm talking about buying ten shares by my on my accounts, and and I keep coming in that way because I still am trying to as I said get to up to about a set seven thousand shares. So it wouldn't hurt me to buy some more here, help move it on up a little bit. But I'm just going to watch for a minute because we're approaching the 10, 1030. So we know what typically happens. So the wisest thing to do here is hold my horses, I guess. And let's just sit and let's just watch and see what happens. Because we know uh, that they, they've got usually about 16 million shares that they like to work with to work numbers down. So let's just hold on to uh, where we are right here. And, and if it keeps making these gains, then that's perfectly fine. And it wouldn't surprise me when you got people like Motley Fool putting out an article here like this uh, recently. This is the latest article. If you're looking at the headlines here, and it's the latest one, a bull market is coming. Three growth stocks to buy. And SoFi's there, baby, on the list. They're pumping it. They're showing why. And uh, this is good. And they're not the only ones. All right. Let's go over here for a second, just for, the, just for uh, fun. Google. And we're going to put in SoFi. Target price uh, raised. It was a Mizuho. Uh, Mizuho analysts maintain their buy. $15. And look how this is the way it's always done, folks. They show the, the new number and then the nine to confuse people. This is all done by confusion efforts. Isn't that interesting? See, they raised it. This looks like 15 to 9. If you didn't read this carefully, you'd say, my God, that's a $6 drop, right? But they raised their target to 15 from 9. Why wouldn't you just put from 9, raised it from 9 to 15, right? These are the things I bring to your attention, folks, that are always done throughout this 
Here we go. They've raised. Here's the same thing, 12 to 10. You think they dropped it, but they inched it 20% higher <laughs> to 12 from 10. What do you know? They did it again here. What a practice, huh? <laughs> These folks have gone from 916 with a high price target of $16, folks. These folks, everybody's upgrading this stock. And here they finally did it right the right way to say Andrew Jeffrey has raised on July 31st <laughs> from 16, uh, 16 from 11. All right. So again, they did it again. <laughs> they they reversed the numbers. It's, it's, it's an 11 to $16 range he's calling. And they reverse the numbers every time. Look at that. 12 to 10. You think, well, that's down, right? No, they inched it up to 12 from 10. <laughs> Can't you just laugh about this stuff? I mean, it's just laughable. It really is. And it just goes to show you all the many, many ways in which the market tries to, uh, dis what's the word I'm looking for? Confuse people. Yeah. It's so deceptive. I'm not sure the word, but I, I, it's just, it's an eye opener to see these kinds of things. I think you'll have to agree with me to see when they show stuff like that. To me, it is because you get, you get a little like, wait a minute, this is what I thought I'd be seeing. And then, uh, then you have to read in, talk about reading in between the lines, right? You got to read <laughs> prior to the lines. <laughs> Don't read those lines to, uh, 12 to 10, because then you're thinking they're dropping. When the fact is they're popping, and I like the word inch, how they got it inching up, right? 20% is an inching. I'd like to get inching out of my CDs at the bank. I wish they could inch up like that, 20%. <laughs> All right, folks. Yeah, you're with me. I appreciate it. I thank you for being here as I delved in a little bit there. Now, there's some other things I want you to know. Uh, I told you yesterday, Hurricane Lopez uh, has been, speaking of that, I say prayers for all the people in the hurricane damage that has been suffered across the state of Florida. Again, the photographs I saw this morning were some real amazing, devastating photographs of absolute annihilation of some of these areas by, I guess, was the storm swell, the, the surge, the water, just the force and power of Mother Nature is, is something truly to be reckoned with. And as the it's not it's not necessarily global warming but as the climate change occurs and goes on and i'm, a, I'm not saying that as a human created thing by the way uh there's a lot about climate change people don't know including the fact that the earth used to be way hotter than it is now even way hotter the history shows it by the kinds of things that were being found up north and fern big fern plants and dinosaur bones and stuff it was much more tropical further north and there's proof of it scientifically, so it can't be denied. But anyways, they're trying to give us the impression that, you know, and by the way, in case you didn't know this, go back and look what they were saying in the 80s. Watch videos by people like uh, by Spock. Uh, what was his name? Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. Watch his commercial about how we were going to be on track for do global devastation by an ice age. Leonard Nimoy yeah, was on national television doing commercials go to youtube look it up and you'll see he was warning of a, a coming ice age and my history teacher i can remember him being taught to me when i was uh it was late uh um late 70s yeah well actually it would have been have to be in the mid 70s yeah for sure like 73 74 and look at this thing folks look at us now look at it rising to the top i told you and by the way if you want to make some money off of this, if you bought it at $789, you might want to look at the number $787 right here soon to put in a sell order, okay? All right? Uh, because $788 can be a stopper. And I'm not trying to take the wind out of the sails. I'm not trying to be the party pooper here, folks. But I, I know the numbers that they target and go after. And sometimes an $888, when I'm trying to fill there, I can't even get it. I have to do like I did with the last time. I couldn't get 788. I had to go for 789 because the 88 was there just for a flash. And so when it gets to that 88, it might just be there for a flash as we're ascending, not dropping and then a back up, but this time ascending and pull back. So I'm just saying, you know, if it, if it was an 88 on the way down, I would say buy there, put your order in an 89, like I did 789. Now put it, 
if it were descending, the price were dropping, I'd say put you in 889 to make sure you got it, right? But right here, what I'm telling you is that you might want to put a sell order in here at 887 to make sure you get, hey, there it is right there, folks. Yes, sir, we're running. We're off and running. Yep, that was double K calling me, I guess, by mistake. All right, let's just see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right or not. If we have a pullback to 881, 877 even, maybe 883. There we go. Ping pong. There it is. Ding dong. Watch it run here. Watch it. There's going to be a lot of resistance at this number because if it breaks this 888, then we're going definitely over nine very quickly. There'll be a mass exodus, folks. You notice I haven't sold anything, though. I'm not over here selling. I'm telling you to sell, perhaps, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> Okay. Hey, hey, heirloom cedar. We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. You're going to see right now. Everybody can witness if cat, catfish knows a dang thing about what he's talking about or not. <laughs> there we go. 884. I told you 883 might be where they go. Could be even a little bit less. Yeah, folks. Sometimes it's best to play it safe. Now, again, I wouldn't also tell you, I'm not selling, I wouldn't sell everything. I'd be taking some cream right now. Take some cream off the top. All right. Me, I think at it, it, this hour, especially that this could be a pump and uh, by some um, MMs. So I'm saying that. And uh, that number is something they pre designed. This is obvious. There's the 883, I said. Let's see if we see the 877 now, or maybe 879. Well, folks, and you you know, it's it's just so interesting, though, isn't it? The way it works, and you can take advantage of these scenarios every time. You can take advantage of it. Yep. Now, if we bounce here, then we're off. We're going to nine and beyond. And it looks good already. Let's go over here and look at this chart and see what the one day is showing us. How is it, this being uh, done? Let's go look at the candlesticks. Look at the right here. Look at the RSI. Very hot. Yep. RSI peaked right there. Pulled back a little and bam, right on off of that. We're seeing it again, folks. RSI pulled back now to the middle and we're at 882. Let's see what happened last time. They took it from where to where. Took us from 878 down to what? 869. A nine cent drop there to pay attention to this. Then the next time they took it down, it was a nine cent drop, then an 878 to what? 878 to 873 to a six cent. So a nine cent drop, a six cent drop, then what was the next ne next drop amount? This is showing us our strength here, folks, is what I'm pointing out to you right here. 882, and we dropped to what? 881. <laughs> folks, this thing is a firecracker here. Spartacus in and out of OKTA. $2. Aha. Yes, Spartacus, I've been looking up some of the ones you talked about. Look right here. I pulled this one up. IIPR. I got up here. This one, DNA. Wait a minute. This is yours here. TSLY. I got it up up top, Spartacus. So I have your yours. I pulled this one up because I like the way it looked yesterday. And I'm watching for a bottom on this one here. S-O-U-N. And it looks like it is at a double bottom forming right here. So that's one I would suggest, folks, that you can get in on here fairly soon. It made a nice pop yesterday. If you go to the five-day chart on this, see? And it's in a pullback. And last time, the last time it pulled back, a significant pullback was from this high right here. And that was what? 262 down to what? 262 down to, come on, catch it. Uh, 254. Eight cent drop. Really about seven, 254.99. A seven cent drop there. And where are we at now? 263 to 257. That's almost 255. That is, that's, all, that's an eight cent drop. So we've seen this seven cent right there drop, now an eight cent drop. 
So maybe a good pop opportunity to buy a few, right? Spartacus, thank you. And uh, I've got some others on a list here. I'm going to be looking into too uh, on on those. But I, I appreciate the tips because this is how people make money. They come here to this channel and they pick up some good stocks, good names, good runners, and then they can get in on them and uh, continue to make money. That's what we all want to do. And we want to also be grateful for these gains that we get and give to others with the money that we're making. That's what we do. What happened to my list that just had those other names on them of stocks? I literally just had it. And I was looking down there, just typing the names off of it. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> That's okay. We've, we'll find it. We've got a few others on here to be, to be picking out. And we've got to just find the list. We've got to find the list of the ones. There they are. Let's look at some others that were picked out by Spartacus to see how they're doing. O-H-I. All right. And we'll get back to the other new ones here, but I'm looking at one at a time here. All right. O-H-I. There it is. Omega Healthcare. These are the ones that I wrote down that I'm holding here and keeping an eye on. And I know a lot of yours, uh, uh, Spartacus, uh, do have dividends, pay dividends, and some don't. I-L-M-N. I-L-M-N. All Spartacus calls. Whew. Nice. Making a nice move. That was a little ritzy, but that one cost some money. But that one is uh, making a nice move, too. I'm going to put that one there. Put some signs by these. And uh, then uh, let's see here. I already did TSLY. I've done every one of them that's right here right now that I think was mentioned uh, yesterday that I took a look at. And uh, now we're going to look at these others. What we said in and out of OKTA. Good deal, man. Nice. And good afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon. We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, we're finding out. See? 881 now, folks. And I called it. I told you that they were going to get an 888 high today. And they might try to pull it down from there. Put your sell orders in at 887. And uh, some of you hope did. And... Uh, because that's how you make money, folks, is you buy on the lows, you sell at the highs that are predictable highs. And uh, this is not just luck that I picked that number. It's, it's something I've spoken to you about before. It's, it's not a mystery. It shouldn't be no mystery for anyone. And uh, this is how you make money, how you learn to make more and more money. And uh, so you got to be on top of these things. I like this IIPR, and I'm watching closely this one. This one here uh, that's been looking very good and in a pullback to the exact same amount as the last big pullback. And there's a reason. So I would suggest this right here be a good good one to move over to. I'm out of Tilray, 285, okay? Yep, I know that that one, uh, I, we talked about that. And uh, I saw some good news for that, about that this morning. By the way, I don't know if you caught the news on that, but it might be under here. Yeah, HHS officials recommending the DEA ease its marijuana restrictions. So that's very good news for this market. In case you folks weren't aware of that, and you can see what's happening with it. Look at it, 285, good, hit it at the high, baby. And we had a dip, now you pop it again, 279, and back it goes over 285. Okay, Spartacus? <laughs> I think it will. I sure think it will. I'm looking at this drop right here from 277 to what price? 277 to what fall? Come on. Damn it. 271. That's a six cent drop. So where are we now? 285 or 286, really. 285.98, 286. And now 281 and bounce right off that six cents. Boom. Six and a half cent drop. Now it's popping. You can make a lot of money on these swings when you get a lot of volume coming in, and there is a lot of volume. You can see the daily average. That's good news for all the marijuana stocks, and that's one thing I'm sure ACB could certainly have used. <laughs> he can three, yes. Yep. Yep. I got you. 
OKTA. Give me a moment. Yeah. Nice. 14% gainer. OKTA, folks. Now, this is not where I tell you to buy stocks, folks. I'm a catfish. I say buy it at the bottom, but this is where he got out at the top. Nice, nice pop. OKTA. Whew. See, folks, these are these are the kind of things that we can get these kind of yields on. Uh, and uh, so pay attention. Now, these are a little bit pricey, too. OKTA. I'm going to write that one. That gets added to the list. Okay, T.A. Because, see, these ones I'm adding to the list, I look into a little bit more like Cookies Code uh, 52. We, we write them down and we look into them. We do some research. We look more. We dig deeper. We see what their fundamentals are. And to make a decision whether or not, yeah, that's a good buy. Look at here, folks. I told you. We are now pressing another new high for today. I want to thank you all for being here. And at this point in the game, yes, one must make decisions to do what one must do. And that is make some money, folks. Make some money. This looks very, very promising right now. I like what I see a lot. And I'm very encouraged by this move to the newer high going past 888 now, perhaps. And if we see that, that'll be good. But then you would have been able to sell, buy back in down in there at 879 and then right on back up, right? And that's how you do it, folks. That's how you make money. Now, what I'm going to have to do here, folks, is uh, I'm almost scared to try to do this. But I like to trade on my VPN. So let's see what happens. If I lose signal, folks, I'm just going to, uh, I'll be back later, okay? I enter in CRM at 225, I think he can, 230 or more. All right. Yep, I'll look at that in a little bit here. Just give me some time here. But there's a nice one there. This is a nice, nice move. And uh, I'm going to try to get on here. So let's just see what happens. And if we continue to maintain signal or we get dropped. So everybody that's here with me now, if this causes a loss of signal, what I'm about to do, I'll be back. Don't worry, but it'll just be in a moment or two, okay? But we're going to restart your streaming software. All right, folks. Let's see if it's gone, if it's done. I see now that it is reconnected, but I don't know whether that broke our transmission and we're gone for good or not. Uh, not really certain. But, goodness gracious, come on now. Let's see if it's still kicking. It says I'm still kicking. I look at here on my OBS. The time st clock is still running. So I must still be up. Uh, but I don't know. Um, let's, let's go over here. And uh, let's go over here and see. Uh, yep. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, well, folks, uh, I, I want to thank you all for being here while I uh, make a little, I have to get logged in here and uh, make some, make some money, right? Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Right. And uh, that's what we're here to do because this looks to me like another double bottom low here coming here right at this point. So I think I'm going to pick some up now. Because remember what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Make money, right? All of us are. That's what we're here to do. If we're still on, it looks like we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Cool, 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 cool. Spartacus PDD. I thank you, sir. Thank you for letting us know these things. It's good, good, valuable information that we're getting here from Spartacus. He's not just here to watch and listen. He's here to help us all make money. And uh, just give me a moment here.
do 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 There we go. Now we're getting here. Just give me a moment, folks. We're going to get this thing moving along. I appreciate your patience while I make us some money here and uh, rock and roll. There we go. There we go. Bing. All right, we're coming on in, and we are still up, uh, even though we've switched over to our VPN, which is up and live, and uh, that's good. That's very good, and uh, we're going to get this taken care of here. We're going to start buying some shares here. More accumulation. Add to position. And here we go, and uh, where are we at? 881 right here. I like that, and it's at 1020. That's cool. Yep, and we're going to put in here just 10. Just 10, that's all we want. Review order and place it. Because I think, oh, golly. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Carl. There we go. Got it. Got it placed. What is happening with you, my friend? What's happening? Ah, uh, I know what that's, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, that sucks when that happens. Yeah, Bluetooth in car can uh, confuse your phone and make you think you're in your car, and then your signal's lost, and you're in the car. Yes, exactly. I was like, why is this thing not doing it? And then uh, I finally opened it. Oh, shit, Bluetooth. Yeah. Ah, so at least you solved it, though. Uh, no, uh, let's go look at it now. This is one that Double K had called, and uh, we're going to take a look at it right now, MVST. And uh, so we're going to put this one in as well, uh, MVST. Right? Oh, gosh, I'm slaughtering this. Boom. There we go. And this was a call by Double K, by the way, already. And I looked it up, I think, yesterday for you folks. And uh, where are we at on it now? Nice. All right. You called it. You got it, guys. Nice pop. Nice. Did you sell it? No. <laughs> no. He says no. Carl's more committed than I am. It's His, all right, so Carl's uh, target price on this one is $3.50, folks. Let's go back and look at the six-month chart on it. I wish this thing would, yeah, there we go. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, definitely in a drop and now starting to pop. And here here at this price, 174 was resistance. And there was another resistance level, of, just so you know, at 212. And there was another resistance back in May. Of two, two twenty, two twelve and two twenty, which is which is really two thirteen, two thirteen, you know, and two twenty, uh, are two levels of resistance in the past on May the nineteenth and May the twenty third. Just so you know, and then on up from there because then you got a the highest it was was two eighty seven. Which was 288. <laughs> I'm sure if you went back to that day. Yep. And so, folks, do you see right here? Yeah, this is in the last, uh, I'm looking at a six month chart. The price was as low during that time as 95 cents. Okay. Year to date. Battery maker, like Mullen. Yeah, very similar, but this one's, uh, this one's this one's uh, pretty major. 
I got some good calls coming in from this guy, Spartacus. He's actually from Portugal. He's been making some nice picks. And today he says uh, CRM. He's calling CRM. And he also picked... He also picked one that ran OKTA, ran up 14% today, but it's kind of pricey, $83 a share. Oh, Salesforce. Yeah, that's an expensive stock builder. OKTA? Oh, oh yeah. He picked some high dollar stocks. Yeah, CRM is uh, high dollar. Uh, Salesforce, uh, I've seen this one before. Yeah, they're up 10 bucks right now, so they're up 5%. But uh, it's a $200 stock. Yeah, $200 stock. Yeah. Absolutely. I, oh, no, I know. And this one, he just picked out PDD that he just picked up uh, 98 yesterday, now breaking over 100. So uh, I hear, I see it, Spartacus. I'm looking, I'm watching that one, PDD. If it breaks. PDD. Yep, PDD, Paul David David. And uh, anyway, uh, that, that it's a $99 stock as well. You know, it's 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 up there. But so far, man. Uh, I mean, but, you know, percentages, you know, I mean, the smaller ones don't necessarily mean they're going to go up either. So you got to go on percentages. You know, for the most part, some of these stocks, I mean, you, you can kind of tell what the percentage is. You know, another thing, folks, I've told you about this number on SoFi when it starts to make its runs. It's six cents. So you you typically will see, look where we were here at the morning, 877, and it dropped to what? 871. Six cents, okay? And then just now it hit the high at what time? At 1013. <laughs> 1014, really. 885, how much did it drop that time? To 878. All right? That's seven cents, folks. Take advantage of this. Six cent drop, seven cent drop. Six cent drop and pop. Seven cent drop and pop. All right? Pay attention, swing traders. Six cents. You can even settle with five. Yes, downgraded. And Morgan Stanley did downgrade SoFi. That is correct. Okay. They own a bunch of shares, by the way. <laughs> well, they just did it to Palantir, too. Oh, did they? Yeah. They downgraded it? Downgraded it, but raised the price target. Yep, raised the price target on a downgrade. Yep, that's common. That's common. Common practice. Folks, I know you can't hear Carl because he's not talking over a speaker, but uh, I'm telling you right now that what he says is, is, is the same thing happens to all these stocks. Folks, We are not the only one that gets hit with these downgrades that are up, downgrading up because <laughs> these people are all chasing the stock. They're chasing it. They're behind it. By the way, I did a oh, certain... Morgan Stanley did it to another one. Oh yeah, they do it. They're they, they're very common at that. They they can own shares in a stock and downgrade that thing because they want more, cheaper. Period. They are very good at executing it too. Excuse my French. Yeah, I'm glad I was speaking over you at the time because I can get on. Uh, I'm I'm uh, have to be careful because you can lose your monetization if you use curse words. I just found out yesterday. Was informed. You can lose your YouTube monetization on a video if you use. It cuss words. I don't know okay. how how all of these other people get away with it, that, but they must just be so rich they don't care about monetization. Well, they're, they're famous enough, and they know that they if if they stop doing it there, they can go someplace else. And the other, you know, so there's a there's a catch twenty two to it. Yes, indeed. So, folks, look at this so number. You have to obey the rules until you're big enough. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You got to obey the rules till you're big enough to get away with it. So I'm right here telling everybody that this is a point. Uh, I told them just a minute ago on SoFi as it was running up that once it got to 888, it was going to stop. So put your sell orders in at 887. And uh, 
Sure as shit, as soon as it hit that number, bam, it went right back down to 879, right? 878. <laughs> so I was right, a 10 cent drop. And that might not seem like a lot to you folks, but if you're if you're buying and selling day trading, then it, it adds up. It all adds up, people. You know, you pick up a dime here, you pick up a nickel there, you pick up a dime there, you pick up a nickel here. And these six cent swings are becoming very predictable. And now look at where we are. We went from 878 back up to 884. Guess what? That's six cents up. Believe it or not, you should actually sell it here. It might, if they're running it down, then you're going to see now the six cent drop from this number. You'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it runs. It is 1030, folks, right now. 1030. Be aware of that. Algo time. Algo time. We've all seen it. We know what happens at this time, typically. I'm looking here. He's throwing out Spartacus. To just keep slinging them out here. <laughs> slinging them out. RTX. I think you have to see it. RTX. 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 Let's go to see it. Nice call on MVST, though. I said, nice call, Carl, on MVST. News about RTX. There it is, Rayathon Core Technology. I'm not sure this is going to give me what I want. I don't think it is for some reason. I think I'm going to go here. Let's take a look and see what it's all about. Okay, it's another one up there, 86 52 price. Let's look at the long term on it. Oh, yeah, bottomed. Careful with this one, though, because this is being stair stepped down. I wouldn't want to be a part of this on the next drop from 104 to 92. That's $12 drop. And then this drop, 97 down to what? 85. What do you know? $12. <laughs> then you come along here and you get to start to increase. And then it drops from 86 to 60, uh, 68. <laughs> I would be very cautious with this one, my friends. But I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but let us wait and see where this platform goes before we get into heavy. And that's one, my friends. But look at the news. RTX Corporation is a favorite amongst institutional investors who own 81%. Well, that's a plus. There's no question about that. But what are they doing to it? The same thing all the institutional investors have done to our stock, SoFi, over the last year and a half, practically running out of business by running it down and shorting the shit out of it from $16 to 13 to freaking 10 to 8 to 6 to 450 Shorten, shorten, shorten it down. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. I didn't say the F word, did I? Okay, well, I don't know if that's a word they will give me a hard time about. I hope not. I don't know, though. Maybe they will. Thank you for letting me know. I need to have myself, a, a, I guess I'm going to have to have a vocal monitor, something I put on, maybe a shock thing that you put on your wrist, and every time you say a cuss word, it zaps you a little bit. That'd be a great word to get, way to keep, don't you think? Yeah. And, you know, because it, it happens, especially if you happen to work in a construction field, where you're around a bunch of people who talk construction. and the, Or it also happens a lot, believe it or not, in the restaurant field, back in the back around cooks and stuff, we'll get the swearing and stuff. And uh, so, folks, you know, what I'm saying to you is that you can get you can get in a, in a catch of doing it without even thinking about it. You just every, you fall right into place. Everybody else is saying dropping the F-bomb all the time. And it just becomes, and especially, like I said, construction site or whatever, or around any working crew, any any type of situation like that, it can become predominant and becomes part of your vocabulary without even thinking about it. We've all been around people before, that maybe even a public event or whatever, that they're throwing out the F-bomb all the time. And when you hear that, you can already, without even, out even asking them what they do for work, you can kind of know what the business there might be in by, by that kind of language. And uh, it means nothing to them. They'll sit around in a public restaurant and even just fu just effing this and effing that. And you're just like, oh, my gosh. My dad, boy, when I was a kid, if he heard that going on or in the restaurant, he'd go right and snap himself up, go over and say, excuse me, could you tone it down, please? Got some children over here. 
you know, back then, boy, he would stand up. I saw him do it many times. Many times he would, uh, you know, just courteously ask people to be, you know, respectful, right? So anyway, hey, uh, look at this, man. We're at 885. If we're making a double leg up here, folks, we got legs on this Spartacus RTX. I think you have to see. I looked at it, folks. I look at everything anyone throws out there. I want to take a look at their histories. But that one, I'm a little shaky on. Uh, that one, it, we, it could go either way from here. And notice the amount that it's at and holding, uh, 13 cents. But, uh, folks, just be care cautious on that one. I don't know. To me, uh, I like to see uh, a real turnaround on it. And right here, even if I get it on this uh, interactive chart, and I want to look at the long-term six-month. I want to see if I see any moves, 45 to 50-day. Let me just look. I do like that 200-day moving average line on that and the fact that it's bouncing off that. It's riding right along it now, actually. So long-term, maybe. But be careful. But that, that actually looks pretty good there. That's the six-month. But boy, this is, if you go back to two years, it isn't going to be that pretty. I can guarantee you. Yep. <clears throat> and Spartacus is telling us another one about, uh, I'm going to just say, Hazzy, H-A-S-I. He says, it's coming, out, it's, it's, it's coming out of the grave, climbing out of the grave. And see, he's, he, he was, Carl, Spartacus has been showing me some good running stocks at times that were really popping. And I mean, they were at their highs, but I told him, man, I'm a catfish, man. We bottom feed here. We're looking for the bottoms and to get in on the low lows. And so he's started, he, he caught on to that. And you know, he started to show me th that one there. That one definitely is one of them. Uh, but let's look over here. And I really like your MVST. It looks very good today. Now up 13.81. And we see a double bottom was achieved on this one at 952. And then the other one was achieved just now at 1020. Four, and that was two dollars, and it resisted real well to the two dollar number, and is now at two oh seven, Carl. So good call on that. That's a very nice bounce. That's just like us bouncing off of eight oh six, like we did several times, and then boom, now eight eighty five. Who would have thought that? Well, I did. <laughs> Let me call you right back. All right, cool beans. Yep, I did. Yep, we're gonna look at some all of these stocks that get put up and suggested. We're going to look at them. H-A-S-I right here. There we go. Enter. Hannon Armstrong Suitable Infrastructure Capital. You said a mouthful. <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting down in some comfort zones where people can come on in here from the average Joe. More or less. This is a good one. This one won't shy away many of my people here that are capable, and many aren't shy away from the ones that you've shown me others. There's many here can buy those, believe me, that, that, that run in this crowd, in the catfish crowd. But yeah, that looks very good. I really like the way that it bounced right there. Look at the volume they came at it with to try to run it down off of this number. Let's go look at the longer term. Okay. Certainly since the August, mid-August, it's... Uh, been doing well. I don't see any real volume here increasing in it down here in these candlesticks either. So that's encouraging as well. So yeah, I like that one. That one goes onto the list. And that was reasonable. Let's go see what your sound is doing, because that's that to me that one that really really looked like it had the most most potential. Here it is. Yep, it's starting to double jog. Okay, there's another bottom right there at two fifty seven fifty, folks. And then let's go look at my RBT. I told you yesterday it would probably be a good time to get in on it because they were working it down, and this thing doesn't stay down. Huh. Wow, they really worked it down even more. Good. Well, be be on the watchful for this one, folks, because this one is not one that can be held down <laughs> because it has too many institutions on it 
Uh oh, just messed up right there. Sorry about that. Yeah, bought more BTI. Yep, I've had that one on the radar too. There it is. Bing. And that's, it's been a good call. It's been up about two and a half, maybe 3% over the last couple of days. Okay, it's down a little bit now. Yep. Well, I wouldn't be surprised he's picking it up at the low. I bet you it is. I bet we'll see a valley here on the one day. Not seeing anything now. I don't know what's happening. But thank you for being here with me, folks. I do appreciate it. Yep. And I can see why you would buy more BTI if it's right here at this price, 33 33 that would be a certainly a number. <laughs> 3333. 33. You can guess they're going for it. So they might fall another six cents from here, folks, believe it or not. I put my order 3334 on BTI. You're going to come in on that? Just my sentiment, I could be completely wrong. You can get some right here, even though. You can buy some right here because it may not fall any lower than this. Let's look at the six month. Where were we right here? 33.98 was resistance before. And then it busted above it here and it went to 34.11. Probably 34.13, I'm going to guess. 34.22. So if you get in here, 34.22 might be a place to take a little off, but I don't know if that's enough of a gain for you even. But you'd be up a dollar. And that's always good, gaining bucks. But we'll see. Keep an eye on that one there, though. It is at a top right now, believe it or not, even though it's still down on this six-month chart. The five-day is a different story. But be careful here. Because there really isn't a parallel to this number where it is right now on the five-day chart. I don't see one. And I don't. Let's go to the one month. Well, there's a parallel shelf right there that was at 33.30. And by the way, if it drops below that, I would watch out and sell and I would get back in 32.78. Just my suggestion could be wrong. I don't know. But it's a good place, even here, I think, maybe to get in because it is in a little bit of a pullback. It, this one, again, is a slow motion mover. It's not going to run, run huge. These, this chart, it makes it's deceptive. It makes you think the price is really, really moving hugely. Look at this. You think this is $70 down to 30 Well, it's not, folks. <laughs> it's just what Yahoo does. It's $38 down to 33 okay? This is not a $20, $30 drop like they're indicating. And this is a part... This is part of what they do on Yahoo too, to kind of confuse people, right? This is a common thing I've seen them do. Over-traumatized stocks. I see you. I see what you're saying, Spartacus. I'm with you. Got it. Uh-huh. I'm with you. And those of you that are here that are with me right now, folks, look at this uh, SoFi now at 885 at 1043. That is a very strong, strong move during algo time. I have to say, I'm going to get more <laughs> filled. Here we go, folks. Let's fill some more. Reuse order. Let's make some money. Let's make lots of money. Let's make lots of money. I want 884. Come on, place it. Let's see if we get it. Filmed at 884. All right. That might be my order right there, folks. And now back to 885. Nice. Oh, this thing is going to come, come completely come apart on them, folks. This is just... This is what I've been trying to say to everybody here that's on my channel with me. This is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg. You got more and more people that are starting to talk about this stock, and they're starting to get more and more headlines. They're grabbing more and more market share every day. And, folks, what I've been showing you all along now, I am showing you some other stocks here brought to some of our, from our other folks. And uh, I show you opportunities all the time to try to get in on the bottoms of things, right? And I'm looking at SoFi Institutional Ownership. 
and I keep an eye on it because it can change during the day even. And uh, right now we're seeing uh, six, six, let me get over here to my institutional ownership sheet. Institutions coming in, institutions coming in like crazy. They are, they definitely are indeed. There we go. And see what the last total was. Three sixty three five ten eight ninety two, three sixty three five zero two. So eight thousand shares. That's a minuscule amount. That's nothing. So so whoever got out had eight thousand shares. And uh, should I almost have that many? <laughs> and many of our members here that are on part of the catfish team have more than that. So that's good tiddly winks there. Small time. What we're watching here, folks, that's starting to unfold is a very, very solid base here, right here, this above 880, which is to the very sad uh, to have to be reported. I'm also watching this stock here, folks. S-O-U-N, okay? That's my second pick. But anyway, uh, I read this article about Motley Fool and why they're picking SoFi. Uh, to be a good running stock to make a lot of money on. And uh, so congratulations uh, for Motley Fool for having come around to the realization that this is a good buying opportunity as well. I'm going to move this over here because I want to look at the SoFi interactive chart here right now. And look at this, folks. And you've heard me use this word before. What you're seeing right there, that right there is called what? You know? Conversion. Not, is that what it is? <laughs> I can't remember. It's funny. Yeah, converting, they're conversion. They're, they're at a conversion point. They're, uh, they're running together. This is actually, and I told you this the other day when we saw this, it's called capitulation. One thing it's called. But uh, when you have all these numbers pile up together, all these things running together, right alongside one another uh, for a sideways move, that is, and I'm going to get in here on the five day because that must be the one that's showing it more. Let me look here. Goodness gracious. Look at this five day chart, folks. By the way, who called for this constant up, 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 up after the 789 low? Who, who called for that? Nice, though. I'm going to keep track of this, though. We're on 831. Right now, still 697 institutions in. And the amount was down a little. So somebody sold us some, made some money. Someone took some profit, it looks like. Yep, let's just look at here. Six, 363.502. 363502. I see you down here. Heirloom Cedar, I think she's going to break free and keep going. Yes. Oh, I do too. Yep. We got another 20% up move here. Roughly. And uh, we still have the same institutions numbers holding 697 in here. But someone reduced a little bit of shares. Like I said, about 8,000 shares. But uh, hey, thank you for being here with me right now. Everybody who's uh, in here with me as we sit here and watch this stock just keep right on climbing upwards. And my feeling is it's going to keep doing that. And uh, so look at here, 886, folks. I'm seeing over here. Look, I want you to notice something that happens sometimes. Let's see here. Yep, 887, still the number. And if we go beyond that, folks, we're breaking nine, okay? It will go to nine and put your orders in. To sell this stock at 912. Okay. <laughs> 912 for a pullback to 888. All right. And that's how we make money. I think she's going to break free. Yes. 
Oh, man, my monitor almost just went out on me. I don't know what happened there. Make sure we're plugged in here good and solid. Yes, I hear you. I hear what you're saying here, Lou Cedar, very much. Red Squirrel, yep. Here comes 888. Yes, again. It's coming again. Yep. And this time, will we have enough strength to power beyond it is the question, and I believe we will. Volume now at 7013. And by the way, we're not even close to where we were yesterday's low. Look where yesterday's low was, folks, right here. 836. And today, 877. That's a major gain. But that shouldn't surprise you, folks. A 41 cent gain shouldn't surprise you. Let's go back here to May the 15th. Chiverini Day. Look at the gains that were going on here in about the 10th day, right? 522 to 559. You see that much? 562 would have been 40 cents, so that's 37 cent move right there. And look here, 610 to 663, that's a 53 cent move, folks. And the volume started coming in. Look over here at the size of the volume here. And then it started getting out of control on them. Yep, look at the size, 671 to 707, 38 cents again. Here you go, 707, 714 to 764, 50 cent move. And this is what I've been calling for, folks. We were going to start seeing this bigger swings each day and even more of a day trader's dream come true possibility scenario. And because when it really starts making these big swings, you'll see the you can determine the amounts of the big swings too. Then you can start taking advantage of them, not just the six cent swings you can take advantage of, like we just did on a, when it hit the 887, where I told you to get out. And look at the number, the high, 887. No, catfish, he don't know sh Jack Diddley. See how I held myself back? I almost got the shock, shock curse collar. <laughs> I'm going to get it, man. I'm going to get something. I'm going to invent something that keeps people from cursing. Every time it curses, it zaps them. <laughs> how do you like that, folks? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I guess, you know, it can't hurt to be completely clean here and keep things clean because, you know, even kids can... can uh, 18, 19, 20, they're not kids, they're adults, but you know what I mean? Even they can, and here's the, here we are pulling to the same number again, and there's no reason other, there's, by the way, you didn't see any news down here, there's none. If this thing pulls back, it's being pulled back, period. There's no reason for it to drop. There's none. Just manipulation, yeah, manipulation. It's making us wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. For $8 a eight. <laughs> 888, folks. <laughs> We're waiting. Oh, yeah. I hope I don't get a copyright violation <laughs> for singing to someone else's songs, but give credit where credit's due. I don't remember who did that song. I think it might have been Karen Carpenter. Or someone like that, anyway. Helen Reddy, Aretha. I don't know. You guys ought to know. Somebody help me out. Anticipation. I remember it was a good old commercial for Ketchup Company, Heinz Ketchup, for a little while. But anyway, hey, just bringing back some memories for you folks. Yeah, and uh, we're going to get over here. And uh, Carly Simon? <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh, 876 we're getting slaughtered folks look at this we're almost we're almost only up three cents two cents it's a slaughtering folks look at them come out and you know why well i just told you why <laughs> there is no reason why yay thank you very much i did get it <laughs> the last guest yes indeed whoa, whoa, whoa. right on with you thank you red squirrel <laughs> My TikTok red squirrel video this morning. Man, they were going crazy. Look at this. We got 199 views of my squirrel world. The squirrel world was on high alert is what I put on here. 202 folks checking out my squirrely video. And by the way, if you feel like being thankful for the money you're making off my call, my calls, when to get in and out, there it is. Cash app address is right there. Boom. Copy. You can put it right here. I might as well. You, can, you never know. Somebody might send me a little chunk of change. You know, I don't know. I don't know how much people are making. They sh Some of these stocks uh, I've given, <laughs> if you want to give, there it is. <laughs> uh, uh, if, 
If you feel like giving a little bit of money to someone in need, it wouldn't be me. But you can if you feel like giving, giving back. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Because, you know, I try to put stuff out that helps people make money. And there you go. Pop, posted it in my cash app so you can see it. If you want to send me a ching ching, ring my bone phone, and uh, it would be really sweet. I uh, actually had someone do that, much to my surprise. And that was kind of cool. And I'm very grateful to that uh, CW veteran. I appreciate it very much uh, for that, uh, that gifting. And uh, it was it was very cool. So I acknowledge people, by the way. And if you want to be anonymous, you can just say in your thing in Cash App, you know, uh, anonymous. You know, you don't have to say who you are. And uh, but yeah, a nice little uh, bonus uh, for this month's work and putting up these videos that hopefully help people out like you and make money. Right? That's what we're here to do. And uh, so we're doing it today. As we bounce just then off of that low, 879, 8, 870. And folks, they were already at 868 here for the low. We're 10 cents above and bouncing. So just be aware of that, okay? We're improving by 10 cents at a time on the low during the day would be awesome. And a good way for us to make a lot of money on this, buying on these drops and then selling on the pops. We can do it repeatedly. We can do it over and over and over. There's no limit to how many times you can do it, folks. You know, your accountant might not like it very much. And that I drink, you know, people say, even know they see the way I've been buying and selling this stock, especially from the earlier days when it was cheaper, uh, that, that I come in very cautiously waiting in and I buy 10 and then 10 more and then 10 more. And if it starts to pop, I'll buy 20. And if it starts to really move, then I'll come into the wave and I'll buy 50, you know. But uh, until then, that's the way I work it. So I start seeing the runs and then I'm holding these things, not for the 3% gains daily and this and that, or 5% that you can make on the swings. I'm holding them for the days that it pops 25, 30, 35%. And those will come because you'll see what happens is it's just on one story that, that breaks. Even like I said, some of these other companies here recently that I've shown you the reason that they've jumped up 75% Mullen for one. All that took was for the CEO to come out and say he wrote a disappointing and expressed his disappointment with how the stock price had dropped. Price went up 75% on that day. From him doing that, I said, hey, Anthony, man, get a load of this, man. You might want to, you want to get your uh, market cap to go up, then you need to do something like this and address all the shorting for the last year and a half on this stock and point out what I've been pointing out on your behalf to everyone that there's a lot of shorters that are trapped right now that bought and shorted at six and seven and eight and they're still trapped and they're paying interest and they have not escaped yet. And when they do, when they start to all get out, we'll see that re reflected in the price, right? And that's what I've, we've already seen. Some of them are returning shares now. The interest has gone down from 16 to around 12, I think was what uh, Hurricane Lopez uh, reported last, my buddy on YouTube. And by the way, Hurricane is also saying he's raised his target price on this from the 975 to 11, I think it was 1125. And he's very skeptical normally. He's a very, very uh, conservative uh, estimate uh, uh, analyst uh, who is usually, and I've even said to you when I pointed him out initially that he's a little bit more on the downside of things, but you need to watch his videos because although he may bring up the downside, he throws it right back at the FUD. When they try to say things about this stock that are just ridiculous, he points them out and he goes and digs for information just like I do to prove uh, things that don't seem to make sense sometimes. And, you know, like uh, Morgan Stanley downgrading our stock and saying that the new student loans was not going to be a $2 billion opportunity or $200 billion opportunity for SoFi. That was what... Uh, the CEO had pronounced that there's a possibility of realized gains 200 billion, and they said no, it's only going to be 60 billion. This is Morgan Stanley. They own 58 million shares at the time. Morgan Stanley, who owned 58 million shares at the time. Well, let's go over here to holders now. See what they're holding now. Let's go see Morgan Stanley 
Uh, I say 58 million shares. It wasn't. It was $58 million worth. Okay. It was $58 million worth. And now Morgan Stanley owns $106 million worth. Since the downgrade, <laughs> which was kind of hard to understand when I discovered that they had all those shares in the first place. And I broke that here on my channel for a lot of people to realize that, hey, this Morgan Stanley downgrade we just saw on July the 17th is when it happened. I can show you the date right here. Look back. May, June, July 17th. There the price had gone from a high of 939 a couple days at 981 to look at the drop. 894 right there is where, and this is the day. Actually, it wasn't the, the 17th. It was the 13th. This is the day. 877, July 13th. If you go back and look at it, Morgan Stanley downgraded July 13th. Yep. I'll do it here. Google. July 13, 2023. SoFi Morgan huh, Stanley. Look at this, folks. July 13th. SoFi Technologies is retreating this morning after Morgan Stanley downgrades shares to underweight. <laughs> they owned $58 million worth then, now over $100 million they own. Is that puzzling? It shouldn't be. <laughs> it also shouldn't be puzzling that the institutional ownership has been increasing by the day lately, <laughs> right? Especially on these days, like Thursday a week ago when the mysterious drop occurred, and I told you that sure looked like manipulation to me, people, before the run, and there it started after that, right after that, so, and this run has been sustained, look at the NASDAQ up still, the Dow up, and folks, this just adds to the NASDAQ gains from what I've been showing you over the last, about two weeks, I started showing people this NASDAQ and the similarities of the drop that happened uh, about six months ago, how it dropped a thousand points, and then right on up. And that was a jig jog drop. This last drop was a major month and a half drop, almost straight down. And then, but the same amount to almost the dollar, 1,061 once, 1,062 the next. I showed you that. And then the turnaround's occurring. The same looking uh, uh, turnaround is occurring now. Thank you for all of you here. Brew tank, yeah. PLTR getting crashed, crushed. All right, I see you're feeding, feeding us information. Thank you for letting us know this. I appreciate it. I didn't see that before I put up my finger. I'd give you some happies and some smileys and some things, Brew Tank, but I'll, I'll, I'll at least write it in here. I I hear you, Brew Tank. Yep, oh, almost misspelled, Brew Tank. And I can't edit that. Yeah, I hear you. Heirloom Cedar, legacy banks are imploding under no-nose pressure. It's only a matter of time. Yep, he will take the hill. I agree. I agree. And by the way, if you were to look back to just about a year and a half ago to see where um, SoFi was placed in banks, it was like in the 300s. Then it made its way up to the 250s, and then it's migrated to the 190s, and then it went to around 130. Uh, and these and, the, and these increases lately have been quick. I'm showing you this Yahoo uh, NASDAQ because I'm going to go to the one year. And this is what I've pointed out. This is where the drop occurred on February 15th, right? February 15th. And the price was at 12.070. And from that price right there, it dropped over the next from February 15th to March 13th, almost one month. And look at that, 11,188. That's 863 points. Here, and by the way, see that nipple right there, and then that nipple, and then the jog drop? Well, folks, that's the nipple there, the nipple there, and then the jog drop. And then we're seeing the same run from this price right here, by the way, after it had dropped 863 points, it went up. The market went up 20%. The NASDAQ gained 20%. And here's what we're seeing here. The same drop, and now the pop beginning. So that's what I show you. I just hope you find that interesting. Thank you for being here, picking up on this. I hear you, Brew Tank. And let's go over and see what he's talking about. 
He's saying right now, man, that it is dropping, and that is PLTR. So let's get over here. That was brought up this morning by, um, I think, uh, Spartacus 2. PLTR. There it is. Oh, man, what's going on to it? What happened? Uh-huh. Why? Let's go dig it out. Figure out why PLTR downgraded by Morgan Stanley. You know what? Let's go over to Holders. How about that? I'm just curious. I'm just kind of curious over here. Oh, my God. And they own $267 million worth of this stock, people. <laughs> Yiza, Miza, they are rated number one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. Seventh on top volume holder of this stock they're downgrading. Understand? Jeez. These people are something else, aren't they? Why isn't it? Why isn't it that when you hold a huge position in a stock like that, that you're even allowed to make such a claim? It should almost be illegal, folks. This is just insane what these people get away with doing and taking advantage of the gullible who don't understand, that don't realize. That, and I'd almost love to see the analyst that did the downgrade. Let's go look into his credentials. Is it Chia? Is it is it Chia Pansy? Let's go see. Uh, who, who, who? Who is the one? Or will they be nameless like they did with SoFi? They started to become nameless after a while. They just used firms. <laughs> Come on, show me who the analyst was. And Luke Carabin Morgan. Oh, look at that. Last name Morgan. <laughs> oh my gosh so funny 11 comments I, I ought to type in here Morgan Stanley owns by the way oh by the way golly unbelievable ha <laughs> Wow. I got to get back over here, folks. Let me get out of this for a second because I really want to see. I got to know. I want to be able to put it down. <laughs> Holders. <laughs> Goodness gracious. How many? Wow. 267. <laughs> Copy. <laughs> I will. I don't care. I'll do it. Uh, that's what I like to be. Goodness gracious, PLTR, man, oh man, summary. <laughs> Goodness gracious, now let's get back to it. PLTR, boom. Thank you for being here with me, everybody. Uh, while I do my uh, little thing here, I'm going to put in here a comment at the bottom of this because they can comment down here, uh, it seems. And uh, where was it? I saw it. Here it is, 12 comments. There we go. Oh, uh, uh, oh, by the way, Morgan Stanley happens to hold tons of, oh, uh, what? What's going on here? Tons of uh, PLTR shares <laughs> currently valued at... <laughs> There, according to Yahoo holders, <laughs> tab. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hmm. Yep. And all right, we just put it out there. And there's others that are commenting about Morgan Stanley wrong most of the time. <laughs> we'll see what they think about that. 
All right, and SOUN is still getting pulled back. I'm looking for the very bottom on this one, folks, because I see a good profit opportunity on that one. <clears throat> Let's see where we're at now. Oh, yeah, goodbye, 879, 878 or whatever. That was all over. A 10-cent gain on the low resistance now, today. Right now, today, proven today, during the day, a 10-cent gain on the low resistance. It's a known fact, folks. And this thing isn't done today. No, no, no. And by the way, I want you to notice where we are. We're going to look at the lunchtime low. And uh, we might as well give them what it just was because it's not going to get any lower than that, I don't think, folks. But we'll see. But we're going to write down on our lunchtime low sheet now. We'll give them, we'll give them, you know, I try to be nice to them. I try to be, give them a little bit of, you know, <laughs> here it is. Let's see where the lunchtime low was. And you can see Catfish's prediction was true on eight. On 825, the lunchtime low was 806. On 828, the lunchtime low, Monday, 821. The next day, Tuesday, lunchtime low, 844 was the real lunchtime low. They got it to 816 later in the day or whatever, but 844 was the lunchtime low. And 816 was at the open. That was at the open because they could have never got it to that penny lower than the day before without attacking it at the lunchtime, at the, lunchtime, at the uh, early morning open, right? Uh, then the next one was uh, 8.30, 8.69 yesterday was the lunchtime low. That, folks, is a nice increase, uh, 15 cents on the lunchtime low. And today's lunchtime low, we're going to go at, and we're going to put the time, is actually 11.11, 11. <laughs> all right, 11, 11 a.m., and the price was 8.78, I saw, I think. It was right around there. Let's see what time it was to make sure we get it right. Oop. Well, that wasn't it. Well, we got to get on the one day, folks. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Let's get on the one day. Man, does that five-day chart look absolutely awesome or what, folks? And look at that turn off that bottom right there, right there. All right, here we go. Where were we, where were we just now at this right now? Right there. We're going to get there. Just hold with me. There it is. 877. 11, 877. Okay. And 844 to 877 gain. At 869 yesterday. That's an eight cent gain on the lunchtime low, folks. And this thing's already going up. And then it isn't even lunchtime. I'm giving them a favor, doing them a favor of giving that number. I'm going to put the real number over here, though. I keep the real numbers over on the left, and then the I write, I give them the benefits over here on the right. So let's see where we end up today. How much of a gain will we have on the lunchtime low today? Right? Or will they come after it, folks? Uh-huh. I hear you, Brew Tank. Yep. And, uh, yeah, PLTR. What do you know? Huh. And SoFi, those money, those fee people in PLTR, they watch SoFi as well. They're seeing what it's doing, and I bet you they start moving over. Some of them will come over because they've made, they've made very good money on PLTR here recently. Very good money, especially from where I started talking about it back on May the 15th, PLTR. I paralleled PLTR with SoFi and said SoFi is going to follow in their tracks. And uh, so far, that's what they've done. Yep. And I really, really like seeing this, making this move back up to 880 here at 1113. Pay attention to the time as it climbs. 881, beautiful at 1114. We are going to make the move early today. They're not going to even wait till lunch. They gave it. They gave it to them. They gave it all they could right then and there. What is the volume at here? Eight million three seventy one. Are they now only borrowing half as many shares to short with? Because they're starting to see this is a very, very losing proposition day after day after day. Look at the five day chart here, folks. Look what's going on. Exactly what I said after the big rundown. Day after day, up, 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 up. 
It's just, we got, uh, hang on, because we still got about another two weeks of this, maybe more. And for those of you that have been here, I showed you these massive swings up and down. I finished out the math for all of you that are here. And I want to thank you for being here. And uh, I finished out the math on my um, buys on the lows, sells on the highs, short at the highs, run it down, sell the short position on the low, go long, sell at the high. <laughs> the swings have been outrageous. The average amounts of the swings have been outrageous. And had you invested $544 on October 31st, 10 months ago, exactly to the day now, your $544 would be $22,429,460. If you had bought at every low, sold and shorted at every high. Then bought, went long at every low, shorted at every high. And the thing that's the most fascinating thing about doing this, which I did, which I thought was cool, was to get a good determination looking at the big picture of how much it typically swings. It swung 15.9% up, 23.64% down, 19.41% up, 30.80% down, 48.54% up. 31.31% down, 13.45% up, 29.88% down, 18% up, 20.5% down, 56% up. Oh my gosh. Then 24% down, 23.88% up, 11.74% down. And that, by the way, is the, the minimalist amount of a swing of them all was 11%, okay? And then 23.5% up, 32.56% down after this last 1170 price. And now the gain at 826 was 4% up. Well, now we're up about 9% here at this price. Nice, huh? And your $544 that you put in October 31st, just 100 shares, only 100 shares, and you'd be up to 22, 429, 460. As of the price, 789, by the way, yesterday, or no, I got it wrong, um, uh, 875, 875. So we're up even more than 22, 429, 460 now, because I did that to a calculation of 875 a share, which we're, of course, above now. So, wow, how much did we make so far? Minus 544 in 10 months' time. Buying the lows, selling highs and shorting over and over and over. 22, 429.460 minus 544 point equals only 21,885. 21,885 gain. Well, now you got to pay the interest on the shorter positions each time, though. And you got to pay fees and got to pay taxes. A lot of taxes. But, folks, that gain is only on 100 shares being traded. You get it? Can you imagine what kind of money's been made off of this stock over the last 10 months on these 30, typically 30% 30 swings? And, you know, it's easy to figure out what the typical per average percentage swing is by just taking all of the percentage swings and adding them up and dividing by how many highs and lows there were. It's pretty simple. Let's get the average just for kicks. 15.9 plus 2364, 23.64 plus 1941. I know this may seem trivial, but to some it's interesting, I guess. <laughs> Plus, um, 30.80 plus 48.54. Goodness, 31.31. 
2980. Oh my. 18 20 point five, 56 point five, 24 point six three, 23 point eighty eight. 1174, 23.59. These are percentages, folks. 32.56. And now nine. 433%. That's the total. Total percent. 433. And folks, if you divide that by the number of times, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 times divided by 17 equals a 25.48% average swing. Interesting, isn't it? I think it is. 25.48% average swing. You don't think there's any money to be made here, folks, on this stock right here? Goodness gracious sakes alive. I want to thank all of you that are here with me, man. I really do appreciate. I know there's other places you could spend your time, other places you could go, other places you could be. But then come in here. You know, I, I, I'm really, I really break and dissect things down numerically and chart-wise. You've already seen that. We're going to this chart right here now. Let's get in on the one day and see what's making this move uh, and keep updated with this uh, candlesticks. I want to see this. And for those of you who may be new to trading, I got to get my jacket off here. It's starting to get warm. Man, it was cold here this morning. I In the upper 40s here in Michigan, I'm pretty guess, I'm guessing. Oh. It was a chill in the air. Whew. All right. And it uh, looks like my feed here is being delayed or maybe not. All right. Look good. I want to do something here just for some fun. Show you folks some fun stuff here for a moment. Maybe if I can get my OBS to come up here uh, and see my picture be bigger. Boop. Here we go. Boop. We're getting there. Just give me a second here. And we're going to get to display me, me. There we go. Boom. Big ol'. All right. Show you a few things here. We got some kind of strange sparklies going on. I'm not sure. Woo. Yeah, they're on my shirt. Sparklies. Don't know why. Can't explain that. But uh, just to explain some in the background here, I am here in the Tiger territory, but I'm originally from Winter Haven, Florida, and that's why I'm a big Red Sox fan. They used to be when I was a kid. This team here was my team, and my favorite number eight is because of the player that was on the Red Sox at the time, Carl Yastrzemski. And then over here, I also am a big fan of the Tigers because, well, my grandfather was from Lakeland, Florida, where they used to spring train or still do. And also my father was from this area. So many games where I attended but both of these teams, and I root for them both. You'll see up there at the top, I also am a fan for the Florida State University Seminoles. And I'm a fan of, well, you can't really see the other one, but I have others up there that, that I'm fans of. And uh, one of them is uh, UCF Knights. Uh, and so there you go. That's kind of my um, where my um, heart lies with the, the teams that I support and pull for and so forth. And, of course, the Red Wings, you know. Uh, and so that's it. That's it for a little uh, view of my sporting history. And now we'll get on back to where we were. And that is the more important things of life, including looking at this chart to see what's happening here on the one day, right? We're going to zoom in here closer and look and see what they're using. Look at this 200-day moving average, folks. You don't get much prettier pictures than that on the one-day chart. And that tells you where we're headed. And look down here at the RSI, how low it is overall. Very low, okay? Let's get back over here. Yep, we're popping. No more dropping. 
That is stopping, is my call. I could be wrong. I have been before, but this time I'm not. Or at least I think. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I haven't been wrong about this turnaround off the bottom after the 29 or 32 this time, 32% run down from 1170 that took 14 days to run it down that far this time. But that's typical. Usually it's nine days. You've seen four days. You've seen uh, two weeks. You've seen three weeks. But every time it's swinging 30. And we just showed, showed the average, about 25% average on every swing over the last 10 months. So that's good money they're making. And we're going to make it too, folks. You and I right along. We're going to make it right along. And we've factored in. We've seen where they're going to come. But what's going to catch them off guard is some sort of breaking news story that this company is going to come out with besides just how much money they're making, okay, in my opinion. I could be wrong. But now here we go, folks. Look what time it is, 11.15. And this is like clockwork. We've seen it before. We're going to see it again, folks. Just get used to it. It'll be from 11.15, usually right into the 12.30 to 12.40 range. We've seen it. Uh, attempts to pull this down every day, <laughs> every single day. You can look at them and see them right here. Look at that, 11.30, boom, down. You see that? Look at this time here, 11.15, boom, down. See that? Look here, what time is this? Right here, where was this? Right there, 11.30, see that? Boom, down. Take advantage of this, folks, if you want. Sell some here now. What time was it here? 11. 11, 12 noon before they hit it this time yesterday. All right. So I'm just showing you what the typical pattern's been all week long. You can very clearly see this, folks, if you're here with me. I thank you for being here. Let me put this back down now because I got myself where I can't see. Ah, here we go. Yes. And uh, I want to thank you all for being here with me. And we've had Spartacus who's put, pointed out some good ones today. We're looking at a lot across the top here. Look at all these stocks we've got up. Look for the bottom here on this one. I expect to see this bounce, all right? That's S-O-U-N. That's one of his calls down 3% right now. I expect to see a bounce there, right? Look at this, I-I-P-R. These are a little bit expensive, but running nicely up 4.94. This one, DNA, I told you it was at the bottom here. I said this is time maybe to get some of this. So there you go. That's the bottom. And look here, ETF here that was called out, T S L Y. This was pointed out by our buddy. Now, this looks exaggerated because they don't get a lot of volume. This is only a million shares, folks. But another one that was called out by our buddy from over in Portugal. That's right. He's in Portugal, and his name is Orlando. Yep, as Spartacus he goes by. Look at Tilray. A nice call on Tilray. And the reason is there's news. The HHS, all right, that the officials have recommended the DEA sees or ease its marijuana restrictions, okay? This is a big news for the marijuana uh, companies out there, and you can see the reflection on the price. If we can see this thing on a federal level, that changes it all. Then the credit card companies back off their move to stop allowing credit cards to come in. So this is a good-looking stock here, making a move here, folks. And I don't suggest buying at the high, but if you're going to come in here and it breaks 308, it could be, look at that. It's making really, really significant moves here. But watch it close because it could pull back. It could pull back maybe. Uh, but we're going to look at the amounts of the pullbacks. And if it pulls back this much, you might want to get some right here from here, okay? So look at these closely. 285.98, that's 286 to 270. It's a seven cent. So six, seven cent pullbacks from here. Pull pull in on it. Get in on it. Anytime six, seven cent pullback on this, get in on Tilray, okay, folks? That's my call, all right? That's what I say because it's going to keep going up. Uh, but this is very, very promising news for them. We can see here now they're going after the same low they had here just about, oh, I don't know what it was, for maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. 877, saw this before, no big deal. 878, it bounced right off that the last time. I'm going to do it again because the low already was 868, folks. They're going to come at this here during the lunchtime hour. They'll see if they can get that maybe again. But if not, that'll be a double bottom and even more reason to be buying into this today right now. You'll see. We'll all see. And we're already at 9 million shares, folks. That's good. 
We are probably going to see a very similar day as yesterday in volume, I presume. And we saw what happened to the price yesterday. It just kept going up, didn't it? All the way into the after hours, it kept going up even, right? But right here, we're looking for this to push and turn off of this number 877, 878 and run right on up to the nines and, and beyond. That's my call. I think it's very, very, very probable and more likely possible than just happenstance, okay? And, and it's because of the history of the stock. And folks, look what we got going on here now if you go to the historical data. And was it not something that I predicted? And I'm not being boastful and I'm not bragging. I'm grateful to the good Lord for showing me these the, the knowledge, giving me the brain on my shoulder to break these things down and look closely at all these charts and the volume and everything and dissect it all and come up with a understanding of what's going on and how this stock is being played and how to take advantage of it, okay? And uh, there's nothing wrong with doing what the hedge funds are doing at the same time they're doing it. And that's why I told you today earlier, sell at 887. Look at the high today, 887. Those of you know this morning that came on with me when I first came up, I said sell at 887. <clears throat> and I don't have a problem with you taking profits. That's what we're here to do, people. If you bought at 789 and you're selling at 887, you made almost a dollar a share. You got 5,000 shares, you bank that five grand. <clears throat> Why not? I mean, five grand, cha-ching. That's what people like Gary does and people like Sean Shaw do. They're selling 5,000 shares at a time, but they're, they're holding big cores of over 50,000 shares. So 10% smart of them to do that. I think they are. I would hope they are, but if they're not, then I misquote and I don't want to say that on their behalf. They can correct me right away if they want. They might tell me I never sold a single share. I just buy them <laughs> for all I know. But anyway, hey, thank you for being here. Thank you very, very much. Uh, as I said, here we got PLTR downgraded by Morgan Stanley today. Yep, I see it there. I'm watching TL Ray. I'm watching it. I just told people about it, Spartacus. Yep. And look at PLTR downgraded by Morgan Stanley when they own a boatload of shares, $267 million worth. So we've seen this action before, run down a stock they own a bunch of, right? Yeah. And here we go, folks. One more push at this right here. We've come from the 1130. It's the 1115 trigger that they've pulled every single day on the last week. There it is. I'm, I, it's funny. I can show these things to you, and they're very obvious. 1130. Boom, down. Look at here. Again, you can look at these each day, folks, and what they do. 1215 down. Here we go on the next day. What time was it? 1230 p.m. They ran it down. Here we go. Back to this one. 1130. Boom down <laughs> what a what a surprise goodness gracious what time was this one here 10 down and then what time again right at noon right at noon for a little drop and then off it went after it dropped to that 864 at noon yesterday this damn thing look at that right on up 20 cent gain forget about the lunchtime low being uh scary that's a buying opportunity you should be smiling ear to ear when you see this happen that's all you should be doing Right? Yes, absolutely. 864. That's interesting. Huh. Showing here 836 for the low yesterday. Huh. Well, I don't care because three days before that, it was 806, then 816, then 836, then 868. This is what I called exactly. Is it not everybody? Yep. Very, very close to what I call. Yep. We can get back over here. PLTR. It bottomed on bogus Morgan Stanley downgrading. And by the way, they downgraded to a higher price than their last estimate. I already know that. My friend Double K told me this morning. They downgraded to a higher price. Does that sound like a familiar record playing there? Because it's happened to SoFi about eight times in the last two months downgraded to higher prices from these yahoos on yahoo no there's no connection between the two they're they're just what they are you know two separate entities but all right yep here we go 
that would be a nice win. I knew I'm buying uh, small amounts of shares. That's the way to do it there. That's the way to do it. I know that day, day. I made you the king cat one day on one buy. But that's how you do it. That's how you make money. You're gaining. You bought that day and you're making money off of that buy. I know you are. I know where you bought. So you're making money. It may not be raking it in hand over fist, but one day you're going to be able to buy more shares at a time off of your gains and you'll be making more money. Just keep plying your course and understand the things that I show everybody here are 100% undeniable. This is not mythical stuff I'm showing everybody. This isn't something you have to question or ask. I wonder if he's right. No, the facts are right here. These numbers, they speak for themselves, folks. The proof is in the pudding on the stock, period, period. Right. And I'm just sitting here waiting right now for another pl place to buy in. I told you all this morning to sell this stock at eight. What price? I knew it was kind of coming at 888. They'd attack it and they sure did. I said, get out at 887. And that was the day's high. What do you know? What a coincidence. 887. Yep. Well, I have to make money and you have to make money. That's what we're here to do is make money, not just always watch and be on the sidelines watching. We're participating and we're making money. And here comes the move off S-O-U-N now. I already told you when it was at the bottom, the 254 there, we're a three cent increase. And it's a good one to keep an eye on. The volume is good. It's going to make a nice rebound, I think. Looking at some other ones that has been called out by Spartacus. Look at this one, IIPR, very nice gain today. This is one that I've been calling out to you. And look at that number, 227. Yeah, this thing's, this thing is very, very good and capable of making a nicer move from here. I like it. It continues to gain each day. Look at the five-day on this. You see that? DNA, folks, called out by double K. You just be aware of it. And that's another good call by somebody here in the in the catfish family. Thank you. OHI, I'm following all these, tracking all of these stocks that have been brought up today by others. Tilray pulled back. Now to three, good place to buy here. Yep, very good place to buy right here. Some little bit of profit taking here right there in this uh, 11.30 coming to 12. See, what happens is people like to go and brag at lunchtime to all their constituents and their fellow traders. So they sell right before lunch to go and show the profits that they all made. And then they can come back and they can adjust afterwards. You know, sometimes they miss out on big profits because it runs up on lunchtime. But this looks very strong here, Tilray, folks. Look at it and be, be aware the volume is very strong on it, and I think it's bottomed out right there. And uh, so I would say get some right there. This is my call, 301. We see where we are at the end of the day, but I bet you we're around 313, okay? That's what I say. We see a close. It'll get up to around 318, maybe even 319, and then they'll pull it down to 38, 39, and then 311, and it close at 313. That's my call on it. I could be wrong. It could be way higher than that. But that's what I see as a possibility with it. And I wouldn't be surprised one single itty bitty teeny bit. Not at all. Yep. Yes, indeed, folks. So we got some winners here. We got some runners that are looking good. Look at this number here on DNA where they're trying to hold this, just so you're aware. 226.50. There you go. I point out the obvious. Yep. I sure do. TSLY is starting to slide back a little bit. They're coming at it here during the lunchtime, too. They're coming at everything. Look at the whole market. The Dow now. Let's swing over here and see what this is doing. I'm going to upgrade this. I'm going to refresh the page. Dow still up. Not up near as much as it was. It's actually about to hit the red, red line. And NASDAQ is being pulled back a little bit as well. But this still looks to me very good. Looking at Tilray. There's the net niche. There's the notch. And it held well at three. Let's see if it breaks below. It could go to 297, so put your orders in there if you want to pick up some of this. 297, even 298. <clears throat> but I don't think it's going any lower than that, not with this volume. There's three, even. Let's see if they get it here, right here during lunch. And again, they're selling here because they want to go show off to their friends. And uh, so don't be surprised. There's a little bit of pressure here on this. And then it runs even higher this afternoon. I like the news for them. That's very good, promising news for them. And... Uh, <clears throat> Yep, RBT, they're still trying to suppress this. But not for long, folks, is my feeling. You hang and watch. This is a call also this morning by our friend, 
from Portugal. This is by Spartacus, and it's up 2.26%, and that is <clears throat> Hannah Armstrong Sustainable Infrastructure Capital. And they look good. Look at their six-month chart because this thing bottomed out and is now starting to make a nice progression up. And I don't see any parallels over here to compare to on that chart. And even on the one year, I saw this, this, this. So bottom, bottom, bottomed out maybe, and that, that could be it. Be careful, though. This is one you want to wade into, not dive. And it's not going to move in huge, huge numbers real fast, I don't believe. Just because of the volume of, of, in and of its own. The volume isn't strong enough. But we're watching all these along with ours as it runs right on up. And it's going to continue this afternoon. I can assure you of that almost of complete certainty that we will not see now, especially since it's already hitting 879 and this is at 1140. So the dreams and aspirations of another 868 or lower isn't going to happen. The low is going to be higher today. And that higher low is just what I predicted. And look how much higher it is from 836 to 868. To 866 is 30, so we're at 32, 32 cent gain. And look at our high uh, um, gain also. So both of them crushing them today. And the volume, well, we'll see where it ends up. Looks to me like a lot of people coming in. Coming in. Yep, a lot of people coming in here. And they are not afraid to buy at 878, even though they could have bought earlier at much less. <laughs> so that's the way it works here with this stock, though. You could always have gotten it less, but now it's starting to get higher and higher day by day by day by day. And just as I had told you, just like day, day's name, right? So if I, 878, not anymore, people, not anymore. I don't think so. That says 1141, 878. And even if it is, it isn't going to be for long because this thing is being very, very, very strong. Look here at what, what's happening on the daily chart to see how they're going to try to work their magic to pull this down, if at all possible, and what volume they would use to do it with. See if we can get some candlesticks in here at the bottom. I'm not seeing anything over here. Let's get some candlesticks involved on the one day. Here we go. Loading up now. I want to thank you for being here, folks. I know there's a lot of other places you could be. Definitely, I'm aware of this, and I'm just here to... Uh, Point out the obvious, really, to people. And uh, there we are. You can see the very bottom where someone said that's enough and bought in $2 million worth, 264000 at 1136 folks. That's a big candlestick buy right there because the dump before to try to drop it down was, <laughs> what is this amount? 38000 Golly. <whistles> Look at this, folks. Gosh. Folks, pay attention here. Oh, I see it. This big red candlestick is just showing how much they made it fall. I got it. 877 to 875, two cents. But that was only on 38,000 shares. 38,000 shares, and then someone came in and says, the heck with that. <coughs> Bought in $2 million plus. There you go. Follow the money, people. Then you got this dinky little attempt to drop it again. 52,000 shares. Folks, you got people buying millions of dollars here on this low. Not just little dinky dumps. And look at that 10-day moving average popping up here right now. All right. I'm going to keep you informed here as we watch what happens here coming into lunch. That was a big buy right there, folks. Somebody said, I want that at that price. 878. Well, it didn't surprise me. They'd seen it before, and it was it was already the low, even just about 15 minutes ago. And 868's already been the day's low, so this is 10 cents more. And there's no fear and trepidation. Look at this. Big buy there came in, and there's a pop right there for 90,000 shares. Green candlestick, folks. Be, be paying attention here as we come into lunchtime. <clears throat> It's fun to be over here and see how they try to work their work their their stuff and that, with the kind of volume that they use to try to make it happen with. And I find it very encouraging to see these big, huge green candlesticks in the middle of all the teeny dumps. <laughs> you should too, folks, by the way. Yeah. Look here. Oh, it's so nice. 
And folks, this is this is just I'm right here. I'm on the one day chart showing you the two green candlesticks back to back as its price comes right on up. And we got now here filling at 878. Folks, that's gonna be up here, up here, not where they're showing it right now. <clears throat> and on it's gonna go right on up. Sound looks good. I like that. This looks good. I IPR if you got some the, the blood for it. This is a good one also. DNA. Oh yes. Right on up. 227.5. 228. Very good. I like it. That's a good call. You might want to pick some of that up. It's cheap, folks. Buy into some of that. Look at their chart here for the last six months. They're really starting to scale up. And they've already had higher highs. 244. Be looking for that number and maybe start making some profits and get out. 243 is what I'd suggest. 254. So maybe in that range. But folks, what we're seeing here is a very resilient SoFi stock holding up extremely well to an even higher low than yesterday's low. And that's a big time jump on the low. Bigger than I almost expected to see even. I've been calling these gains on the lows and the highs every day. But I, that's that's a bigger one than I was seeing, thinking we'd see. And you might you might not understand that being only up four cents right now. But the truth of the matter is the low went from 836 yesterday to 868. That's catastrophic for the shorters, by the way. They can't even begin to uh, argue with that. They just got to be throwing their hands up in the air and probably pulling their hair out and wondering, dang, do we just go ahead and get out of this thing? That's what I think they're thinking before it breaks over nine and on its way to 10 and up to what all these analysts are calling for. Because there's been some big uh, gap up calls here lately. I showed people and look, it's a good PLTR. I think it's a good price to buy some of this right here. Believe it or not, on a Morgan Stanley downgrade down 8%, of course. Because we know from here it'll be up 20 or 30 percent, probably. Like that's the tactic, that's the use, that's the way they go about it. So uh, anyway, just keeping an eye on that one too. But let's go over here, Google this, Google SoFi downgrade today. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, wasn't that? It's PLTR, PLTR downgrade. by analyst let's go see who analyst keith weiss i love it let's go see what kind of credentials this guy has folks copy let's do some digging there we go paste and we're going to put right here tip ranks all right stick with me folks you're going to learn something about this guy here too well, look at that. He actually has five-star rating. Keith Weiss of Morgan Stanley. So there might be a little bit behind what he says. Covers 64 stocks with a 65.74% success. Okay. Well, I don't know what I don't know what he's looking at that the um, that uh, Kathy Wood analysts are all buying still. I don't know why he sees a different story. But he's working for Morgan Stanley, who owns $260 million worth of this stock. So I'm a little puzzled, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Let's go see what his tip rank thing is. Let's click in and dig a little deeper. Yeah, he's got a high rating, 96 out of 8,537, not 8,000 like David Chia pet. His success rate is 66%. Average rate of return, 16.10. All right. Well, we looked into him, right? We found out what he's got, his, if he's worth his salt or not. And uh, <clears throat> apparently he's had a nice... Uh, uh, we had Chia Pansy, who had a rating of less than one tip of a star, make our price fall by freaking, I don't remember what it was, 17%. Oh, my gosh. And uh, this one falls 8% on a great rating. <laughs> Whatever, go figure it out. There you go, folks. S O U N. I told you. Cha ching, if you got in, it's starting to make its recovery now. S O U N. And you're buying in, you're making money on it, I think. 877 is the trounce number. That's it. You're done, folks. Toast over. Calling it 1149. That'll probably be the low. 876. 876. Don't know that for sure, but I can tell you one thing. 
I'm going to be in there being bu a buyer on that. Let's get in here. Well, the reason I am going to buy it, and by the way, let's see if I'm still up with my VPN. And I am, and we haven't lost signal today. Isn't that cool? How cool is that? Yeah. All right, and we're going to go here to SoFi. We're going to go add to position. And... <clears throat> We're going to do 10 shares. Try and get 877. There we go. And let's see if we get lucky here. 10 shares, 877, day order. That's all I need. Yep, 877. Bingo. Review order and place it. Ah, let me make me put my password again. There we go. Now we're in. Let's see if we get 877. Come on, give it to me. I want that number. Filled at 878. Well, you know how much I like the number eight, people. So I'm going to ring the bell on that because this is lunchtime. It's a good time to be buying. You don't have to take my word for it. You can just look at the history of the charts for the last week, and you can see every time at lunch they came out and it went up afterwards. So that's why I'm, I'm buying on the pattern. I'm a pattern buyer. That's what I am. I've shown you the patterns. You've seen the patterns. You've seen where we're headed probably. And I have no qualms at all about buying here. And uh, I'm going to hold off on buying anymore until uh, actually we're halfway through lunch. And then we'll see where we are then. We might see them start to accumulate here even because a lot of people are catching on to this lunchtime low thing. You know, a lot of people. And we're going to write down the real lunchtime low here on this sheet. Not what I gave them for benefit or for help. A little bit ago, we're going to re write the real low because I gave them 877 at 1111. And there it is now. We're almost there again. At 1111 a.m., here's the number we were at. And it bounced right off of that. So let's see if it does it again, which I expect it will. I could be wrong because, as I said, I am not a financial advisor. I just give you my um, beliefs and, uh, and hope you can ride with it or you don't have to. And I want to thank you, the ones that come over here and check out my channel and leave your comments and give suggestions on stocks that we should buy into. It's very cool. And uh, everybody can make money together that way here on this family and the catfish family. So that's excellent. And uh, don't forget to like the video and to share it and, uh, because that obviously helps with the uh, algorithm and gets it into more people's hands. So everybody can make money off of the stock that we're about to make more money off of today. Right. And we're going to up upgrade here. And we're going to update this, refresh this page. I want to see the, the greens versus red candlesticks here at the bottom. That's what we're looking for. And where we're at now, and as it reloads, we're going to see. So thank you for being here with me, passing the time. And let's see where we are now. Oh, yeah. Look at that big green candlestick come in right there, folks. Again, these people are making some good-sized buys. There's no attempt at all to sell here. 12,000 shares, you kidding me? And what was this one? 23,064. And this one, 23,020, exact same amount virtually to have very little effect. And now 879, and up we go. We're starting the climb right now, folks. And here we go. It's going to be a nice run for us this afternoon is what I'm calling, and I could be wrong but I don't think so. And so far, I haven't been wrong since the 32% takedown move that we were going to see. And I did the average for you and showed you what the average gain loss is from highs to lows. And we still got right now about 20% more upside from the last low. So just hang tight and watch them go there. And each day, buy it on these lows as it makes its way up that 20%, 25% gain. When it gets up to 25%, take out a little bit, you know, take out 5%. And then when it gets to uh, higher, take out a little more and higher a little more. <clears throat> because there's always a limit to how high it will keep running up, folks. There always is. So I want you to be aware of that. Pardon my yawning. <laughs>
But uh, hey, we're having some fun here watching this thing on another green day, and this is just another. And be 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 paying close attention, any of you newer folks that have just come on here to what's been happening. Eight oh six low, eight seventeen low. Look at the high; it jumped up here sixteen cents, so they went after the low a penny. Had to do that at the very beginning of the day too, or they were never even have gotten a penny lower than the day before, and they knew it. So right out of the gate, man, it was eight sixteen. One second after the open, and that's about how long that lasted. One second, and they were all gone. Price was shot up, and you can see today's gain, twenty cent. Uh, yesterday's gain off of the day before, twenty cents, and today a thirty, thirty what, thirty-two cent gain on the low. And there's no way, as you can see, that this is going to be getting back below this eight thirty-six here. They can't even get the dang thing to fall below 877. So how could they possibly? And they could if they would. They would, I say it. They would if they could, but they can't, so they won't. That's become my slogan for this SoFi stock. Those that are against it would push it down if they could, but they can't. So they won't. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying to everyone. The only way they've been able to achieve any pullbacks on this is downgrades. It's not been on their earnings every time. It's not been all the great news that's coming out about they're going profitable by the fourth quarter. The only reason this thing has been pulled down is because of downgrades and MMs working their magic. That's it, period. There's no other reason for it to fall and no reason for it to go up 30% at a time and down 30% and up 30% and down 30% and up 30%. I showed you how many times it's happened and how many times it's done and we're waiting on the up. We're on the upswing now, folks. Just sit with me. Watch and watch it ride. <clears throat> It isn't going to stop because they're the, this is the way the hedge funds have been making so much money over the last 10 months. If you think they're going to give up on their methods, you'd be sorely mistaken, okay? And that's why I'm warning everybody here who's shorting here, be prepared for a 20% loss if you're shorting, plus your interest rates that you're paying uh, from this price right here, and it'll be within 10 to 14 days, All right? That's my call. That's my call. Again, I could be completely wrong, but I sure don't think so. Just like this price not running down any further below this price where we are now, it's not going to happen, folks. There's just too many people coming in here buying this. There were 6,000 shares. There's 15,000 shares. We're at 10,183. Watch the size. There's 15,000 shares right there, folks. These aren't small timers buying here at 877. 10,193. Watch the size of the buys. There's 100 shares right there. Another couple shares. Very small. SoFi individual investors probably coming in on the SoFi investment platform. 877 now is the price. 100 shares there. A couple hundred shares there. 10,194. 870. And they're buying this up during lunchtime, folks, just like I've been telling you to do. And right or right before. And the price is starting to climb now. Talking 877, 878. 10,199,397. 10, There's 200 shares bought the most. Happy to pay 877. 101995. 10, there was 30 shares purchased at 877. I'm bringing it up because it's important to see the small amounts moving price up. So I look for two share buys. There's a three share buy, 877 still. 10208443. There's a 30 share buy, 877. 10208737. Yep, 102091. So 400 shares bought there. All these people, happy, happy, happy buyers at 877, folks. And now 878. 10,209. Yep, 825. 10,211. 2,000 shares. 10,212. We got some good small buyers coming in. Four shares there. 10,212, 147. 10,212, 249. See that? 102 shares at 877. These are a lot of retail buyers, people that never stop buying the stock. They're not, there it is toggling now, and it's going to toggle next to 879. It's going to happen here right before lunchtime. 10, 2, 1, 6, 1, 9, 6. There's 200 shares, happy to buy it at a penny higher than it was two minutes ago. Yeah, I love it. 10,216, 439. 
544. You see that? That wasn't even 100 shares. 877. 10,000. 216. 770. 10,000. 216. 884. 114 shares bought there at 877. 10,000. 217. 118. Yeah, folks, and 119. There you go. You saw it. One share. One share. 10,217,344. So you're not the only one day day that buys one at a time. There's others that are with you doing it. And I'm grateful to everyone who's buying, no matter how many and at what price. It doesn't matter to me. <clears throat> you're all part of the catfish <clears throat> school of catfish. If you're here with me and you're watching this thing as it makes its climb. And I pointed out to these people that have been watching with me how much this thing's been swinging. And right now, we still have, from this price, about a 20% upside gain potential. And that will be before, that'll be where we'll be within 10 days to two weeks, most three weeks, right? And that's because of the track record of this stock. I'm just saying. And we've already actually reached from the low 789, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 days. Man, doesn't this look familiar, though? Look at these lows going up, 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 up. We saw it all back on May 15th. It's the same thing. It's redoing history. Look at this. 482, 98, 514, 534, 549, 540, 548, 605, 702, 726, 711, 760, right on up, 7.76, $8, 8.20, 8.81, 9.30, 961, 1023, folks. It has just been, you with me? You got it. Everybody gets it. You've seen that before. I've shown everybody at least 50 times, those of you that are here right now. But I bring it up for other people that are new that don't see what, how the game's been played over the past and how it's repeating itself now. So thank you for sharing with me once again in that uh, information. As we watch the price right now, 12 o'clock sharp. Look at it start. Two cents, three cents now. Two cents down, and this is a con it could be a coordinated uh, call here to do this. We'll see what happens. There's no there's no stomach for selling this though below 876. It looks like there's just none. Nobody wants to let go of it. No one here, and that is an absolutely great signal and sign for us, right? We fellow longs green today again. And we've been green, 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 green. Look at these people that shorted this at 808, folks. And believe me, they were heavily doing it at 808 and 806. <laughs> and then the next bottom, 818, 10 cents higher. <laughs> then the next bottom, 841. Yikes, <clears throat> that's not good. 35 cent higher than the next bottom, 864. From 841, was that right? Right, Man, not good. Not good at all. Yeah, 841 and then right on up to 864. Nice 20 cent pops and we're seeing it again today. Very, very, very strong signals of a very, very nice move. PLTR not doing so great. Yeah, I know kimchi. Thank you for being here. We got it up on our radar. We're watching PLTR. We saw the downgrade by Morgan Stanley today. You know what's interesting about PLTR and the downgrade today by Morgan Stanley? Well, let me show you what's interesting about PLTR and its downgrade by Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is the seventh top shareholder in institutions with 17,938,000 shares and owns $267 million worth of the stock they're downgrading. <laughs> Kimchi. Hey, like that. Have we seen that recipe before? They did the same thing on SoFi. They own over 110 million now. They had 58 million when they downgraded it, and now they own over 110 million. Jeez, OPs. Oh, well, you see what they did and how they did it, and you know now why. They want more of it, cheaper, period. No other reason for them to. <laughs> Think about this. Let's just do this. Just for kick's sake. What did I say they had? Holders. It's down 7.9%. And it was down 8% at one time. It was down, there it is, 8.8%. 8%. Let, let me just do this. 
let's do this, 267 million, 267 times 8% minus equals 245 million. You think they want to lose $22 million on a downgrade of their own, what they own already? You try to figure that out. In one day, a $22 million loss, but they've done it before, and they did it with SoFi. They did it with SoFi on July the 13th of this year. I've shown people that before. They did it with Joe uh, uh, SoFi July 13th, folks. They said it should be worth <laughs> nine. Oh, by the way, Kim Chi, uh, uh, yes, yep. They said it would be worth $9. And folks, this doesn't surprise me one little teeny tiny bit because they'd love to buy it at $9. They would love to buy it there. But you go ask yourself why a company that, that owns $267 million plus of a stock would downgrade it. Okay? Ask yourself that. All right? You should be asking yourself that. Because that right there, making it drop 8% is a $22 million loss on paper. All right? But we've seen it before. So it should be of no surprise and people should be very wise to that. Good buying time. Because when they did it to SoFi, look here, July the 13th, the price fell <clears throat> from 930 the previous day and at 961 to 8, it was the 13th, yeah, there it is, to 889. That was on a Morgan Stanley downgrade before the next day when it went to 1023, the highest high. Nope, that's June. My bad. You'll see it here. There it is. This is what I was looking for. I knew that didn't make sense to me. It didn't look right. Price was 939 the day before on Morgan Stanley's downgrade, July 13th, 877. A 60 cent drop. But at that time, they owned 48 and a half million. I told everybody about it. <clears throat> now, how many do they hold? Here they are, major holders. Morgan Stanley owns 105 million worth now. Had 48 million, downgraded it now on 105 million. So I guess when they owned it, let's see how much they made it drop on their downgrade. Uh, I guess I wish I could figure that out and how much they lost then. Okay. So Morgan Stanley uh, was at 48,500. I had written down right around there. 48,500 something. 48,056 as I recall. But 48, 48 million I mean. 48 million five. We'll say five. All right. 48 million 500,000. And they made the price drop on their downgrade. From, hold on, you'll just stick with me here, on, on SoFi. We're comparing SoFi's drop on their downgrade. And uh, the, here was the price, July, the July the 13th, there it came. The price was 939 minus 877. And uh, so let's just see, and uh, maybe their downgrade, but yeah, we'll just say it was at 939 for the high, but it closed at 920, so let's be fair. 920 when the downgrade came out. Right? So 48.5. We'll get there in a minute. Let's do it. 929.20 minus 8.77. 8.77 equals divided by 9.20 equals times 100 equals. They made it fall 4.67%. Okay? On their downgrade, on the Morgan Stanley downgrade. But then look where it was just a few days later, 1013. <laughs> Goodness gracious sakes, that's probably about a 28% gain after Morgan Stanley's downgrade, and now they own twi over twice as much in value. Huh. All right, well, there you go. I'm comparing the two. I like to see comparisons. So 
respectively, we've suffered worse than PLTR did on a Morgan Stanley downgrade is exactly what it shows you. I think. <laughs> I don't know. But hey, yeah, I hear you. They said it was worth nine PLTR. Well, that's probably where they're going to try and get it to then, don't you think? <laughs> and look at where it is. <laughs> said it was worth nine. Oh, my God. These people. And it's already recovering off the low they could get it to off today's downgrade to 14. What was it down to? 1472. 1472 low, folks. Morgan Stanley got it there, I'm sure. Probably piled in and doubled their position on it today, too. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised one little single freaking bit. And I can say freaking. I'm pretty sure I can say that without getting myself monetized and demonetized on my YouTube channel. I want to thank you all for being here under my language <laughs> uh, restricted uh, channel now. Crazy to think people just, yep, they follow suit. Yep, they just follow suit. They do. They follow suit. And I understand what you're saying. It is absolutely true. They all just fall in line to fears and they can be easily intimidated out. So I'm with you 100% on that. Good comment. True. 100% true. But what they're following through on right now is this holdup of 877 as we're now at 10,583,000. And I am going to write down the lunchtime low today, which I think it's going to be this. So it's 876 maybe. Haven't seen it any lower than that. Let's go over here to the SoFi chart and get in on the one day and refresh the page. <clears throat> I like seeing that 10-day purple moving average moving up right now already here coming into the little bit of uh, 12, 10 p.m. and moving up. <clears throat> That's a good sign for us, folks. Beware. Be with me, man. Watch it run. And we got some other runners that are making some good money for people today. Look at Tilray. Where are they now? Okay, they pull back, and it's going to do a heavy, fast uh, run up. This ticker is not going off at the speed. I just refresh this. When I do go back to it after I haven't looked a while, it jumps around some. But 298.03, huh? All right. Still a very nice move on the news about the, uh, the HHS, Health and Human Resources or whatever, <laughs> services. Officials recommend the DEA ease its marijuana restrictions. So, might be on a federal level changing some things, and that would be very, very promising for these marijuana folks. So you're aware of it. And by the way, we're going to look at some other stocks that have been on a bit of a run here lately. We're going to add in one here, BTIF. That's BitFarms, BitFarms stock, Yahoo, BTIF, or BITF, I'm sorry. <laughs> BITF, let's go look at it. And Riot has made some good moves, but they're probably pulling back. Yeah, pulling back. That's what I thought. I thought we'd see that. Well, they made some nice gains here recently. So anyway, there you go. Keep an eye on that. And let's go look at Riot just for the heck of it. It, it should be in the same boat because they usually are as well. MARA or some other is another big leader in the uh, marijuana stocks. And here we go looking at Riot. Right now, right now. And also pulling back. Okay, not surprising. Not surprising to see those in pullbacks. BTI pulling back slightly today. This is one of our calls by Spartacus. And not much. Again, I don't expect us to make, make big moves, but I want to thank you for being here and point, pointing these things out to me. All of you cats who come on with valuable information there we go, 876 at 12.13. Pay attention to the time. <laughs> 876 low. Let's see if it holds. Let's see if it holds up. Eight seventy-five. I'm going to get some more here, folks. I can assure you of that. Here we go. Just give me a second here. Here we go. Review order in place. <laughs> I 
876 I got. It's okay. I know this is going to be the lunchtime low here. I'm pretty sure of it. And that's why I'm buying 10 shares at a time here. Let's put in a limit this time at 875. Maybe we can, can get it. Okay, here we go. We put in an 875. Come on, baby. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Filled at 875. Cha-ching. And that might be the last time we see that. Very cool. Yep, there it is. That's probably my order right there. 875. I didn't see the quantity of it, but that could be me. Up a penny, by the way. I'm still green, and I'm here supporting right now at this number because we're one penny in the green, and others will too. They're not, they're, don't be mistaken. They're familiar with this lunchtime thing. I, everybody's, I believe, starting to catch on why we're seeing the action of the drop and then the pops every day after lunch because people are catch on too. They're, they're riding along with us, right? They catch on what's going on, and then they... They hopefully come in here and buy on these lunchtime lows because that's what we've been seeing. And then it bounces right off of them. And this is usually about the time that it starts to climb. I'm not saying it's going to today. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm just telling you what I think and believe and feel based on the charts and the volume. 10,668. There we go. 2,000 shares. 10,670,575. There's eight shares bought. There's two there. Oh, wow. There's 20,000 shares bought at 877. No problem. 10,708,000. Nine thousand now. We're at 10,709,000. 10,709,646 and rising. 10,709,754. Right on. There you go. 108 shares bought there. And the price is rising. 875. We did see 874 on that dinky little sale there. I must have filled here at 875. Good. Yo, I know I did. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see much lower here than this at lunch, folks, though. So this is why I'm coming in here. And uh, cha-ching, cha-ching to those of you that bought at 789 just nine days ago. As we've watched it just go right on up, very slow and steady. I told you Rome wasn't built in a day, and it didn't conquer places in a day either. So we're going to conquer things at a slow, gradual, steady increase. And that's exactly what we're seeing happen. We couldn't ask for anything better. This is the perfect scenario where we are here. Daily higher highs and higher lows is all we can ask for, folks. Regardless of where we end up on the price at the end of the day, daily higher lows and day or high, higher highs is going to lead to our gains in the eventually. That's just it can't play out any other way. Right? 10,825,7. So you saw 300 shares at 874. There's not much they're using to do this with the little numbers. Hold, hold on here with me, folks, because we're now coming into the 1220 hour, which has been usually when it starts to actually sometimes make moves up. So we're going to see if they come in and start coming in early or if they keep trying to work this down with very, very low volume. There you go. They got it negative a penny. They're probably celebrating now. <laughs> All right, let's buy some more. Let's buy some more. Because it's going to spring from here, folks. Don't you worry. 872. All right. Let's try this. See if we can catch that. Right now. Got to lower my bid now. 8.72. Review order. Place it. 8.72 just filled the 8.71, folks. <laughs> All right. A limit order filling a penny lower is what we always want to see happening, folks, here, especially during lunchtime. <laughs> this is what we always see every day at lunch. So this is absolutely, this should be more or less expected by everyone by the chart that I just showed you on this five day. This is an everyday occurrence. 
See there, even at one o'clock, they tried to take it down on Friday. Ran right back up, right on up, man. Forget about it. One o'clock, 8.23, right on up to 8.30 something. Then they tried this here, this rundown at uh, one o'clock again, 8.27 all the way down to 8.18. Ran right back up, daggum. It went to 8.30 again. Then they try here again at lunchtime. One four, one, this is becoming a 1 o'clock, 1.30 attack every day, folks. And they came at it hard and with a little bit of volume. But then the volume poured in and shot the thing right back up. <laughs> shot it right back up the, the yesterday morning. And there's huge amounts of volume here on these buy-ins and days improving compared to the rundowns. You see the comparison in volume levels? You got to love that right there. That's the biggest thing right there. See, when they were working it down, the volume levels on Monday, you know, Friday afternoon, Monday. But once it got past there, these volume levels started picking up to run it down. And it just kept running right on it each day. And each day we're getting these pops every morning. Don't fall for the runoffs from this afternoon highs because each day we're seeing it jog right on up. And this is what I've called for. <clears throat> higher highs, higher lows every day and a rose. <laughs> Pretty much. And so good time to buy right here, folks. As they try for their low of the day, 868, 32 cents higher than yesterday's low. <laughs> Talk about throwing good money after bad. Oh, God, this is it, folks. This is exemplary. This would be the definition of throwing away your money right here, what you're seeing happening right here. All right. I'm buying more. You bet you bet your butt I am. And by the way, folks, you all heard me say this morning earlier to sell when it was at the high of 877, 878. And I said it was going to get to 888. I'm sorry. I said 887 was the number I said to sell at this morning when I first came up. 887 turned out to be the exact high today. Boom. Go back to the very beginning of this broadcast and you'll see that I told everyone that that was the case. I came on very early this morning because I wanted to catch the low, which I did right out of the gate this morning. And I knew it was going to happen that way. I knew there was no other way for them to go after the low was to come out of the gate. And that's why even Shaneza said, hey, you're here early today. And I said, yep, because I'm going to catch the low right out of the gate and I'll never see that again. So, but here we are with their lunchtime efforts. They have regular lunchtime uh, efforts <laughs> that we see every single day. And you know it. <laughs> this is of no surprise to anyone. 869. Wow. Look at them go for it, folks. <clears throat> yeah. They're trying it one more time here. Lunchtime gusto. How are they doing it? What are they using as far as volume? Oh, my gosh. 870 already. They didn't want to see that. I guarantee you that. They didn't want to see a bounce off 869. That's a penny higher than the low this morning earlier out of the gate. That would be so horrible for them. <laughs> but even if they did do it, it wouldn't surprise me or you. It shouldn't because we know this is lunchtime, right? And they do it every day. So we take advantage of it. We buy it here. And we go cha-ching. Like I'm doing right here. I don't hesitate to buy, even though we're only down four cents. And by the way, this is absolutely not going to scare anyone out of this position, four cent and down a half a percentage point. What you're seeing here is 100% undeniably manipulation 101 in place. You're seeing it right here, witnessing it in front of your very eyes. They tied the low there at 8.68. Yippee Yahoo. Time to buy more, folks. Time to buy more is all it is. Gonna reuse this order, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna reuse it. I gotta lower it now though. <laughs> Hate it when that feature doesn't work. There we go. Let's get it, A69. Come on, A69. Well, I filled it 868. All right, folks, that's the day's low so far. Yay! I did end up getting the low. I thought I was going to miss it this morning because I wasn't able to buy. But they bring it again at lunchtime, just that I expected. Thank you. Thank you, fellow shorters. <laughs> I call you fellows because I'm making so much money off of them. It's not even funny. 
But let's do it again. Come on, let's find one. Boom. We're going to reuse order. Here we go. Let's try 868 again. I want it. 868. Review order. Come on. Let me get it. 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 Ah, I only filled at 869 that time. Oh, well. There it is, 868, right behind me, around the hills. Oh, well, it must be mine that pushed it up. There it is, probably my pie right there that pushed it up again. Sorry, shorters. <laughs> All right. But, folks, I want to thank you for being here. And I know a lot of folks have been a lot of the duration of the day here. Look at the number here, too, by the way, when this is down here. Look at the number that you're seeing, coincidentally, at where we are. Hold on. It'll get disconnected. And this has been happening every day during this time of day, lunchtime. Reconnection. I'm back up. Excellent condition. I don't know why. Just got a quick glitch off. But I'm back up. And we're buying at 869. And there's 870. So sorry. You're not going to drop it below the 868. That's today's low. A 32 cent gain. A 32 cent gain on the low today. And it's holding up very, very stubbornly here, which I love. I love it. I love seeing it. I love the effort on their part to get to it lower where you could get a chance to buy it again. I was upset this morning that I just came on so soon right before the open because I wanted to see the low and everybody to tell them where I thought the low was. And the high in the pre-market had been 881 already or 882, I think. And uh, we're going to see that come again our way here this afternoon. You you watch and you'll be uh, amazed. Watch and be amazed. Running through lunchtime low right now, and we can write it down. Let's put it in the book. 1226, lunchtime low, 868. Put it in the book. Because it's not going to drop anymore. Would it? If they could, if they could, they would, but they can't, so they won't. So let's just write this down. Lunchtime low, much higher, very nice. I'm impressed. And it doesn't surprise me one time, tiny little bit. Here we go. Lunchtime low, 831 was, folks, yesterday, the exact same amount, 869. <laughs> that should be a word of warning to you, you shorters, because you know where it ended up? You know where the close was yesterday? 874, people. Lunchtime low, 869 at 1227. And I'm going to put 868 because it did get there. 1227. Woo! A whole penny lower for him at lunchtime today. What do you know? Yep. What do you know on the 31st? And by the way, I want you to know the 869, the previous day's low, at the real low, was 844, okay? So two days ago, the low at lunch was 844, and now we're pinning them at 868. How do you like that, Maple folks? Man, I mean, I'm telling you, man, this is sharply done. Shopify doing well today. Yeah, crazy to think people, yep, all right, Kim Chi, got it. Thank you. Just saw that up there. I just saw you posted that. Shopify. We've looked at some others here that are making some runs and they're doing well today, including this one. This one is up and doing well. And this one here is recovering from that low. I told you to get in here, folks, when it was down there. This thing's not going to stay right there. Believe me, it's not. Shopify. Let's go off PDD. That was not doing too well right now. But that's okay. Not down a lot. Shopify. Shop, shop, shopping. It ain't time stopping. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a little on the higher side. Yep. Yep. Very good. Very good point out, though. It's doing well. I like it. Look at the volume. Nice. How's it been doing over the last six months, though? Nice. Looking like a nice little scale up there recently, and the volume is not heavy, huge. The volume is not heavy, huge on it. Just so you're all aware. And, uh, but there shouldn't be because it's $64 a share. <laughs> but good call, man. That's a good one there. An 8% gainer right there.
Be careful, though, folks. I'm not here to tell you where the tops are. I'm here to tell you where the bottoms are. All right? And that's where SoFi is right now. <laughs> the bottom, five cent down today. But, folks, that is a way better low than yesterday's low. Okay? I'm just letting you know. A way better low than yesterday's low of 836 at lunchtime. And by the way, this wasn't at lunchtime. This 836 low was achieved by them only at the very opening bell in the first minute because that's the only way they could get a pin, this, this to be lower. That's the only way they could do it here on this date <laughs> to get to that low even. The only way they could do it, which was 20 cents higher than the day before, was to attack it in the first minute. And the price just went skyrocket after that. 836 to 878 high, close at 874 near the high. I like them here showing on the August 31st close. Look at their prediction, I guess. 876, they're calling for. <laughs> Are you with me, all of you folks? Right there, you can see it. So five, they have an adjusted close for today's date of 876. Why? <laughs> well, I don't mind. I like that they're showing that. <laughs> and what have they showed here for that? Yep, they're still at 1028 for their target price. Yahoo is. Very nice. And you can see that this uh, lunchtime rundown tactic of the same thing every day is now starting to turn quickly the other direction. And bye bye 11, uh, 868, bye bye dreams of 867. Uh, not going to happen. The day's range is going to remain here. Uh, it appears very solid, at least at this stage. I don't know for a fact because there's still 29 minutes. And then I've shown you also they've been trying to come hard at this the last five days. At 130, but it also again runs off of that too, or 115. So be ready for another one o'clock attack today because looking at this five day chart, I'm showing you every day they have been coming. Look at there, one o'clock, boom, down. Look at this next one here, right here at the time, one o'clock exactly, boom, down. What a mysterious drop every day. What's the time here? One o'clock, boom, down. 115 is when they started on Tuesday, 130 actually. And then look here on Wednesday. What time is it? Oh, what do you know? One o'clock, 1.30 again, boom, down. But it's just going right up after that, folks. So don't be fooled for any of these drops. You see what's happening after every drop. It's a pop, right? After every drop comes a pop. And that's what's going to happen every day. And it's not going to stop. Not for at least about, in my prediction, another uh, week, 10 days, maybe two weeks. So we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. We'll see how it pans out. Look at the volume, 11,741,042. Yep, amazing. Look at this drop yesterday, uh, Wednesday, August 30th, 864 at 215 in the afternoon, right? That was the bottom, 864, okay? And I'm just making sure you see that, August 30th, 864 at 215 in the afternoon. So the, the skies have not cleared yet, and we're not even close to 16 million shares here, which is the number I keep pointing out to everybody is the number that they like to use every day to short. They go in and get 16 million shares. And look at here the number. Look at this. See it? 868. What number they got? 666. All right. And that went away. <laughs> Sorry. Not down that much anymore. Now only down five, five, five. And it's going to be four, 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 and then three, 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 and then two, two, two. We'll just keep counting it down. One, 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 and then back green again. You'll see it. All of you that are here with me now, you'll all see what I'm talking about. It'll be coming true here very soon. And that's only because I, I, see, I feel so certain about this manipulative move and a 30% gain off the 789. And by the way, the price on 789, 7.89 times 30% plus equals 10.25. 10.25. That's the minimum 30% return, generally speaking. There have been some smaller amounts, but oh my goodness. 8.67. Look at that. How proud they must feel about that. Oh my gosh, now they're freaking doing so well that they're only seeing a 31% gain off yesterday's low. Wow, that's dynamic. 
And at lunchtime, too, they're doing this. <laughs> what a coincidence. Stick with me, folks. It's very entertaining here to watch what they do and how they do it. And I keep I, I expose it, all the little things that they try and all their little efforts. And look at the RSI, though, folks. Completely down here to 33. Get ready for the run, folks. It's coming. Because I'm not the only one that looks at an RSI to determine when I should get in or out. There are big, big banks that look at these big institutions, hedge funds. They use this RSI right here to make decisions on when to come in. And now we're at 28. Be ready, folks. Get ready for this thing to take off. 26 even. 26. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about with RSIs and when they run to the highest ranges and drop, then come over here and see what happened this morning, and you'll see what I mean. See this RSI hit that red line right there, and then the price went whoa down. So you just pay attention. When the RSI gets to the hot side, they sell it down, okay? Here again, it started to move to the hot side, and it wasn't even close to hot, and they ran it down, right? But here, folks, this is a rundown and a very, very cold RSI number from which to pop. I show you this because I know what I'm talking about, folks. I know that this RSI is a big indicator for these people when to, when to make their buys. And you'll start to see it. You're going to see it right here. Watch them come in here. When it gets to that number, and I'm showing you something, folks. I hope you'll find this valuable information and that you'll share, share it with other folks. Okay? And here's a call I had. <clears throat> now they're still coming at this. S-O-U-N. I'm waiting on the very bottom of this. I'm coming in on it today. I will. <clears throat> Yep. Oh, yeah. I called it DNA. That's the six-month chart. Looking good. That's a double K pick. Carl, my friend down in uh, down in Florida. Yep. This is looking good here still. TSLY was a call by our friend Spartacus. We got here. OHI was another call by him today, and it has bottomed out. He called it at the bottom. He told me when it was a, a just around here. So good call on this one there, uh, Spartacus. Appreciate that one. That might be a nice one to gain on, folks. Tilray, pulling back now. Okay, that's all right. I said 293, it may fall back to. And 288 is even another imaginable number. <laughs> imagine, I can imagine that happening. But shop now running, folks. <clears throat> that's a six-month chart on it. You can see it just broke over 65. You might want to look at this one. This is Shopify, okay? Shopify, looking very good here. Very solid. Very, very solid. I like that a lot. That looks very, very, very good. And you can look at the six-month chart to see this thing is really starting to get on a little bit of a tear. It's at a high, and we need to look for these resistance levels here. You can see right there, 65.88 was one. And it's been that way on the top when it was going up. And it's been that number on the bottom when it was going down, roughly. So right there, you're at that. So be careful. All right, don't go diving in on this one, folks. Wade in if you got that kind of money. But I would say this is a good place to be buying this stock right here. I would say be buying that one. But that's okay. You don't have to. Don't have to take my word for it. Okay, this is another one that was brought up by um, Spartacus today, HASI. And this one is one that's always been pushing a little bit. BTI. And they're not down too much, just half a percent. PLTR now continuing its tumble down almost 10% on that Morgan Stanley downgrade that people are falling for. This company that owns $267 million worth of this stock, downgrading it and losing $22 million today. Hmm. Go figure that out, folks. Well, <laughs> I think I have figured it out. <laughs> Just like I figured it out the SoFi way when they downgraded. And by the way, this downgrade that was made on PLTR today by Morgan Stanley was a downgrade to a higher number than their last upgrade. <laughs> okay? This sound familiar to you? It's the same story we saw on SoFi <clears throat> when they dropped the price on their July the 13th and made the price drop. But sure popped after that. It was from that's, that's 7 70 something to 10 13 after that goodness gracious and of course they increased their position from 48 million 500 
$1,000. In SoFi, they've now increased it to over $100 million. I think it was $104 million last time we looked. You know, I'm back over here. <clears throat> oh, look at folks. 866. What a number. How could we have ever guessed they would go for that today, of all things? <laughs> Golly, what a mysterious number that is. Why do you think they came up with that one? <laughs> well, so I could buy it. <laughs> and you could buy it too, folks, if you're here. <laughs> and I'm buying it here. There's no question. Because every single time I've bought this number, I've made money. Every single time. Without fail, folks. Without fail. <laughs> I'm going to do it again right now. <laughs> I'm going to get this in right now. Definitely, definitely review, order, and place it. I want that 866. Give it to me. I want my 866. Come on, baby. There we go. Filled. 866. I am going to be the low price of the day. And that's where I'm filling at 866 now. And I'm going to put in another limit order at 865 and 864 and 861. Because I know they like those two those numbers as well. So here we go. Reuse order. We're going to go in here. All right, review order, place it. Got an order there at 865. Let's see if it happens to fill. I don't think it will because I don't. I think everybody will be gobbling up these lunchtime 66 numbers. They've seen this too. A lot of people are on to this game. So we'll see if they follow suit with me. I have not filled at 865. I'm going to go ahead and put one in at 864 just in case. Oh, there it is. I think I might have filled there. <clears throat> yep, I just filled that 865. And I put in an 864 order just now, too. I think they might try to go as low as 861, and that will be very, very bottom. So Catfish is here telling you. I'm not just telling you. You can see me buying them, too. Uh, that's what I do here, folks. All right. I don't just suggest. There's 864. Reuse order. Let's try 863 here. Come on. I'm not going to miss the bottom. I don't care what it is. Eight six three. We'll try. Come on, man. Well, I at least already got the bottom there. I think in 864, we're trying for 863. We'll see if we get it. Uh, we're going to put it in 862. I'll fill in all these numbers. I'm not a fool. I can see what's going on here. This is just the normal lunchtime BS. 1% down, folks. 1%, <laughs> all right? How much have we been gaining over the last week? We're up 9%, folks. Fear not. There's 863. Got it. Come on, give me an 8622, dadgummit. I'll take it. <laughs> Dang right I will. Boom, here we go. A reuse order. Got to lower this down. Oh, man. 862. Review order. Place it. Come on, folks. 862. And if they can get 861, that'll be a ton of... There it is, 862. And I filled that that. All right. Oh, folks, you might be wondering, what is this guy nuts? Why does he just get... Well, I'm, I'm buying. I got to get back up to 7,000 shares, folks. Right now, I just went over 6,000. I got 6,080 shares right now. So I got a ways to go. <laughs> and I got the money to do it with. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. 861, I, that's the year I was born, so of course I'm going to put in there. Of course I am. <laughs> there it is. Come on, let me get that. Filled at 861. Uh-oh, error. YouTube is not receiving enough info. Oh, here we go again, folks. 1244 in the afternoon. This has been, this has been the standard. Uh, and folks, ah, uh, God, dog it. Uh. <sighs> I 
All right. Now I'm going to undo my VPN and see if that will help. It. Reconnecting. Come on, stick with me, folks. 858, and there's no news, folks. I can guarantee you, eight millennial money traps keeping the generation from financial success. When did that come out? Two hours ago. That ain't nothing. This is just MM bullshit right here. MM bullshit, buying more. Hopefully we'll get back here. We're back to excellent streaming. Good, 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 good. Review order. Place. Filled at 860, folks. Filled at 860. I didn't get the low. I think it was 858. I think. Let's try it again. Reuse. Place. Chuting 10 at 857. All right. 57 Chevy. 857. I hope that's the low today. I want to be able to say I bought it there. And I think it is, folks. I'm not the reason I'm coming in here because look at all the volume. Look down here at the bottom of this thing, the do, the volume that they're using right here to get this last lunchtime run. Look at that. See those red candlesticks there coming in? Big, big, big ones, folks. Let's go over here. Let's get in on the one day and see. You just stick with me, folks. Hold on here. We've got 12 folks here with me now. I want to thank you for being here while we watch this rundown. Now, 866 again. Wow. Did that come back up? Quick? Hold on a minute. And look at this. RSI went down below the green all the way down here. To, oh, my God. To two? <laughs> and that's why it's popping. Let's get in here and look at this one-day chart close. What they just used to do this with. Look at all this red bloodbath in a row. 65,000, 140,000. That's a million dollars. There's a million and a quarter. There we go. There you go. Two and a half million dollars at 1244, folks. There you go. 1245. Heavy coming at it. Straight, straight. As hard as they could hit it. And now where are we? 859. And people will be piling in to buy this. 13156 